Nice jump, Alistair. Waffle just resubbed for 22 months. Closed or <coughs> holding my goose. What? Oh, yes. Hello there. Hello. Just waiting for Jake to get into the uh, the channel. Sir Action Slacks raided with 369 oh, views. Uh, no, I think he was saying goodbye to his viewers, actually. Thank you, Jake, for the raid. He is still not in the channel. I think uh, he will be shortly. Welcome, Slacks viewers, to the asshole of Dota right here live on the internet. Last week was an abomination that we shall not speak of past this opening. Um, we are praying that Grumpy Nerd does not get invited again. Plague, I think you're joining me in this. Uh, hello? I think... Hello, Jake. Hello there. Um, we, we can't have Grumpy Nerd again. I'm hoping that he gets a perma ban from the in-houses because... I think we've laid down some solid rules I for technical so. issues in the future. I believe so. Um, no. I think... Um, then, yeah, Slacks, if you get in the channel with us, and then we'll be ready to go. Move into Hello. Waiting for Egg and Egg 2.0, which is the name of the channel. <clears throat> Hello? Jay! Hello. Yeah, hi. I'm get just... into the channel. There we go. Right. I'm there. You just kept saying hello, and you still weren't moving. Oh, well, yeah. I, it's, it's I thought you couldn't point. hear me. Oh, right. Can the you view... turn on... If you go to audio, and voice chat team, tick open mic, and then make sure mute code broadcasters is ticked, and that way... Because believe it or not, as I say every time, this is a ticketed event uh, that will that will stamp your delightful voice into the twentieth uh... <laughs> picture of Marion. <laughs> oh, that's not fair on the man. <laughs> Do you see what they've done to you? What, what the they... hell was this? That's disgusting. Glasses? No, I don't like that. No, no, no. Very upset with what I'm seeing here today. Anyway. <laughs> How, are you Very doing? How are you doing anyway, buddy? I am doing so good. Can't Ten wait to finally do minutes. one of these beautiful in houses. Very excited. Nice Very job, pumped. Five Randall's this, uh, this just for what happened last months. week? I need to know. So, last week, we, in the first hour and 20 minutes of the stream, we had managed just under 20 minutes of Dota. It took oh. forever to get the lads into the lobby, then it took oh, forever no. for them to do the draft. And then one of the lads DC'd. We waited five minutes. minutes for him to reconnect. DC'd again because I hadn't fixed the issue. Waited five minutes for him to five reconnect. Then he said, "Oh, it's it's. Oh, I'm still getting bad ping. Bad. I'm going to restart everything, which meant restarting his computer and his router. <laughs> and it took over 20 minutes. And by the time he got back, it still wasn't fixed. So they abandoned the game. And then in the next lobby, uh, it took forever to get the lads together. They started the draft." Someone partway through the draft said, "Actually, I have to go." So we had. To he said, "I have an him. exam." I have an exam. <laughs> I have to go. <laughs> so he, he had to go. Um, literally five minutes into the draft, so I lost it at that point and said, "Fuck this! I'm going to go play something else." And we left. They then attempted to carry on with with the second game and got everyone back in the lobby again with a new person and said, "All right, we're going to keep the original draft." And in putting together the remake draft in all pick. They somehow fucked that up as well, and seconds, everybody abandoned it, and that was the end of it. <laughs> wow. So uh, I Five shouted at the lads remaining. on stream and bollocked them on Discord and in the hope that somehow it would get through. And this evening, we turned up at nine, and the lobby was ready to go, and now we're into the draft, and you're here, and Plague's here, and hopefully everything's cool. Goodness gracious, what a tale of pure debauchery, absolutely disgusting community. But uh, <laughs> what can you tell me about these boys, Burian Flax and Plague? Uh, who are these lads? Give me the, the low down on the goon squad. All right, well, as you can see, um, we have had a ban for Brewmaster. Who, I thought Schmupster was the only brew player. Who's the brew player for, on Too Hot for Dota? It's not Bast. Is it? It might nice be Reg. Um, I mean, it's, you know, it's game one, so this is going to be realistically, this is going to be as good as you get for players. Yeah, yeah. This, this is, is the the cream of the crop, the, the the best you'll find, and let me tell you, they're not very good. Uh, I mean, if, for the... imagine if your crop, 
Dying You're a farmer, me. right, Jake? I want you to lean back yeah, in your chair and close your eyes and think. You're a farmer. Mm. You get your machinery. It's digging out all the crops. You're a potato <laughs> farmer, specifically. You get all the potatoes, and you go through all the potatoes, and the best one you find is a wizened, old, Ten blackened, rotten potato. That is the cream of that crop. That's Five the best wow. one. These lads are the equivalent to that moldy potato. So when we say the creme nice de la creme, don't expect much. That's all I'm saying. But for a 20th fixture period, Cool Llama, probably the strongest player on that team as a yes. plus one player. A He's going to be wow. looking to get one of his specialty heroes. Like I think his Jug has performed very well in the past. And even a Sven, not very popular hero, Mate, but he's Sven performed on it. Sven looked good, yes. Remarkable. Uh, on the other hand, though, too hot for Dota. Science Wiz Ben, the captain, is a pugna pretty much a pugna only player and he's managed to lock it in here so he's got the one hero he can play well i would also like to put forward science with ben's od as being semi-competent 10 seconds remaining that's true two heroes a, a <laughs> strong hero pool for science with ben but he's got the hero and he's, uh, he's go. going for it. And there's the jug the, the juggernaut Lich. so is there a reason why the only good guys are not in the goon guild is that uh what i'm seeing here cool llama not in, in the Mephisto. guild, yeah. So, I mean, the, the, the goons are genuine seconds, goons. Remaining. And then there were so many of them, they had to make another goon guild, which is Dollar Goon. Five seconds so, remaining. There, there's a lot of goons. Like, I, I honestly think if people looked at most communities, most Dota communities on the entire internet, and I mean that, I think we probably have the lowest average MMR of any of them. Certainly when they did the vo <laughs> when they did the voice line thing Die where they compared win battle. rates of people who used my shitty voice line to pretty much everyone else, my win rate was really bad, which is interesting because yours was quite high, Sheep's was quite high because I think they were widely used. Mine was not widely used, which means we had a smaller control group. That control group was entirely the idiots that sub to this channel and are on the Discord. So the, the standard is always going to be lower. And God bless them, the lads just can't play Dota. Yep. That's okay. That's Most of us can't, so well, welcome, welcome. You're going to see what something you tonight, sir. Uh, this is game one. I can't wait. This is the peak. It is literally downhill from here. So do get ready. Now why and, is this... Uh, Okay, go ahead. So I was going to the say, they're all, they're all aware that the Eye of Sauron of Slacks is, is here <laughs> the now. The harsh, toxic the most Jake is here. toxic there, Dota no. player I've ever played with. <laughs> no, no, not true. Ten seconds not true. Remaining. Okay, I've changed. All right, I'm on a one-month Dota break seconds. right now. Are you really? That's right. And all yet, I play is Dire Tide. Oh, okay. Hours a day. Oh, God. It's not real Dota. Yeah. Okay. How I'm are you finding it? Like, I like, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how are you, how are you finding taking a break from Dota? I, it's good for me, you know. I've gone, I've gone insane, so uh, it's good. I, I've just been massively Dirty. playing Dire Tide because it's a garbage game mode full of garbage people, and I'm trying to overexpose myself to things that make me mad. I so, see. Uh, yeah. So really, this was good. this isn't a healthy option. You tried to do something healthy, not play Dota for a month, get in a good headspace, and then you replaced it with something you hate even more. Well, here's the thought process, right? I mean, remaining. if you keep eating chocolate, it becomes disgusting, even though you love chocolate. So if I can make remaining. toxicity my baseline, then not being toxic will be the more entertaining thing. So I've decided to make myself fully hate Dota by playing nothing but Dire Tide for a month straight so that any experience is better than that. So, I see. Yeah. I see. I'm not sure I get it, but sure. You're the neuroscientist. It's all good. Juggernaut? is one of the best scrub uh characters agreed from my agreed simple to play hard to kill uh they they will definitely not pick some kind of magic community piercing stun uh i think he i mean against crystal maiden and pugma he didn't give a hoot that's right uh that's and he's also are... Dyer now ahead. know what the safe lane they're going to play up against is, so they can pick quite strong heroes that against Jug and Lich. They should pick Snapfire um, immediately. Yeah. Why? Why have you done this? Why have they picked Marana? I think oh, what's Snap the... Snaking made pick. him look good at TI. That means the hero must be good. Mm. That's true. Maybe he got the the Crimson. I don't know. I think Jug is actually pretty good against Undying as well. You can uh, spin and hit the Tombstone, mm -hmm. just fully Seconds commit remaining. yourself to the Tombstoning. So, I, it's a good lineup. I mean, Five Lich blows remaining. up these supports. Yeah. Juggernaut can deal with Tomb. Marana can also leap in and do Tomb. I don't know about I mean, the Marana. 
I do. The I agree about the leap movement speed. That's didn't. That's something about the attack speed. Sorry, that's actually quite good against Undying. But if they get snapped, she just goes do, 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 and kills it. Like every time I play with a with an Undying that you pick early, they just pick a snap and it's GG. Like they just like the radio guns with two down. Viewers. Okay, Tide. I I would put I would put Undying against Tide in that case. In all honesty, the problem is if you oh, yeah. do that, you've then got Maiden versus Jug, which is gonna suck. So. I'm corrupt. Black Laser is now raiding with two people, <laughs> him and his friend. Thank you, Black Laser, for raid of two. Unbelievable. You could have just invited that one other person to the stream, but I appreciate putting in a raid. Well done. Well done. I just thank ignore you. it, but thank you. That's so, that's so kind. Two people, ladies and gentlemen. Him and one other friend, his, his wife. He's sitting there, he says, Peer Flax, it's sub night, it's sub night, can we get, <laughs> sweetie, will you come? <laughs> will you come? And she says, like always, I'm not going to come with you. <laughs> and then uh, he just invited her through a raid, so thank you so much. Good gonna get a drink. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Right, you presumably pick your carry here. I would, I would just play Drow. I think this is a very solid draw game. You're going to have an Undying in your lane against Tidehunter. He's going to be standing in front of you, taking all the damage, and you can just hit for free. So my, my, jug... my, my issue, Plague, with having the Undying safe, although it's tempting to do that against Tide, you could also just Radiant pick, like, Ursa or something back. like that. Right. Um, is that it, if they put... If they, have an, if, if they have a lane of Axe Undying, I think that's strong enough against Jug Lich. If they nice decide job, to put the Undying Alistair. against the Tide... The problem is, the Maiden is just going to get fucking spun down by this Jug. Like, over yeah. and over and over. And it, there's nothing she can do. Remaining. She can't slow him. She can't do anything. I think it, I think it, it would be a little Five rough, but that's just me. I was, I was actually incorrect saying they should have picked their carry here. I forgot that Ben only plays Pugna mid. So they know it's going to be a mid Pugna, so they can save their last pick yeah. for pause one. Um, but it also means they know it's going to be a Pugna, because Ben does not play it anywhere else, and he always goes Dagon. Uh, and that I complain good. about it. I that complain about it every week that. that he should just not go Dagon five first every <laughs> single time. But God bless him, he commits to it. When are you safe with a Dagon five, Pugna, my friend? That you get near somebody who knows what's awaiting you. It's not about the item. It's not about the damage. It's about the threat of that big daddy Dagon. Nobody wants to die to that, so they're terrified. It's true. I, will You've they also got the uh, you got the Pugna decrep into Dagon into Dunk, which would be pretty funny. Oh, no. It's gonna kill Ten a little lot. That's definitely never gonna happen. But uh, it should <laughs> should happen. That would be super hype. Remaining. You know the lads so well. We've seen so often they would go Lich Grimstroke, and one time in the whole game they actually get the, <laughs> the Lich Grimstroke combo off. Yo, Lich! Oh my God, dude. Grimstroke would be so hype here. So hype, please. Grimstroke carry. Let Juggernaut mid, please. We'll, we'll see. Dire team pick. Ooh, Ooh bet that primal, a... le bet primal. That's a, I'd say that I feel like that's maybe a brave pick against Pugna, but I guess you can just stand on top of him and stomp all over him. It's, it's not My great friend... to pick against Maiden because any kind of slow just kind of fucks you. But uh, we'll see. And it's also Ten another strength hero remaining. into Undying. But uh, what do I know? It's fine, guys. Uh, primal Beast. It's remaining. all about the race to get BKB. Yeah. BKB pops on. What are they gonna do? You know? Yeah. Nothing. Slark! Choose your hero. Okay. Slarky Malarkey. I like it. It's a counter to Marana. She can't leap out of it. And yeah. That's it. And good against and good against Tide. <laughs> <laughs> that is it. Good, good against Tide. He can uh he can get Agi slack Agi stacks up by, by clicking Tide and he can purge off the anchor smash. Uh yeah. and if Jug ults him he can use his ult and disappear. It's it's uh yeah. it's not 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 I mean, there's some fun. But at the same time there. it's a slark, you know. It's I, not I know that. I'm aware of that. Nice jump, Alistair. Zarly, uh, the real warrior's dire does not take months. towers. Oh, One no, they have Pugna, I guess. Let's go. Yeah, maybe they can make this work. Look, but, but we, I think Ben has to pop we off. We do this every week. Every week we analyze the draft like we're looking at a TI main stage final. They, these guys could pick the perfect draft and still goon it. We've seen it time and again. Do not put much thought into who will win based on the draft. I'm telling you, it's a it's a it's a losing battle.
The only thing I'll say is that the team with big team fight spells has an easier life executing it. And when you've got Lich Ults, Ravage, even all all of Primal Beast stuff going in, and Ron as Invis just to add on top, it's a lot easier to play a video game when you have all those R buttons to press. True. I agree. I I agree. I mean, uh, how much better can it be? You got freaking Invisibility makes Mm -hmm. Invincibility Mm -hmm. Marana combined with a juggle. Oh, yeah! I love that so much. (laughs) It's a shame that events suck so much because the intro screen is real good. It's banging. Uh, but the... well, here we go. What do you guys typically do? What are your What are your casting? Uh, you know, we talk. Positions? This is literally a, a three match podcast. We just talk absolute bollocks, and if something interesting happens, we'll look at it. They're Very all spamming high. my shitty line. Oh, there we go. Now there we go. Somebody knows. All right, fantastic. Now I'm very excited to see Undying's first skill build. That's always one of the first things that I look at to see if a guy has any idea what he's doing on the hero. Uh, a bit, a dead giveaway. Marana though, she does have the arrow, so they are ready to do some donking here. Very excited. Tide has leveled his E first though. Not even holding the point for the first blood attempt. Wow. To show up that's level it. Z. That is abandoning his team. That was one of the first is... things Aoi taught me when we did a lesson where he watched the replay of mine with me and commented about on everything 10 years I did. ago. Literally 10 years ago, he said, I think it was eight years ago, he said, Why are you leveling up before you get to lane? I was like, Well, this is all I'm ever going to take. He goes, You never know. Like, you could take this, you could take that. It, this might make a difference. Oh, in comes Primal Beast. <laughs> they know. Cool Lama yeah, just walking yeah. in. Okay. This isn't gonna hit. Arrow <laughs> is gonna come back! <laughs> it. Are you kidding Unbelievable. me? Unbelievable! What a waste of time! Because he does have a leap. Should they just walk away now? That was what funny, a though. Chad move. The guy, he just walks away. Incredible. <laughs> I can't believe that arrow hit. Him, but that just, it was just walked in a dead straight line. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. He had full vision, but he just let it hit him. And that's, he did it on purpose. There's no other explanation. I love it. That's hype. Uh, it on purpose. It's mid primal. It is mid primal, yeah. Versus the oh. versus the Pugna. So there he's taken no onslaught reason. level one, which is not really what you want mid. No, it's awful. <laughs> Absolutely awful. Period flex. However, uh, anything could happen in a game like this. Maybe he wins. Maybe he doesn't. Where is that Undying? He puts his first level in the K. Okay, this guy does know how to Radiant's play Undying. We are in first level in battle hunger on the X. Very good lane. These guys know what they're doing. First level frost shield on Lich. The game is over. <laughs> um, yeah, I, was, I don't know why she did that. I, I, maybe Cowardly. it was something for the first blood. This first blood thing has ruined a lot of lanes. They've got this Q on Primal Beast. He's really sad now because they tried for first blood. Samo didn't commit to it, ruining it as well. It's just weird moves. I mean, I understand. Uh, there is seldom a more frightening combo than the Juggernaut Blade Fury plus the frost shield. However, uh, not level one. More like level three, potentially. But mm-hmm. it's all good. They'll figure it out. Fine. Yeah, level three is... Pr- well, he's going going for it now. There we go. The deadly combo. A little Can't bit of slice and a little bit of ice. Does he have enough? Oh, oh, oh he's he dead, got I the think. bollocks. He hasn't got the bollocks. He could have done it. Oh, yeah. my God. Oh, my God. Yes, Coop! Yes. There we go. That's good. That's good. <laughs> They did get a pull off. Very unfortunate. That's the tilting tip comes out on his own teammate. They're on the same team and he's tipping him. That's nice. That's that's not good. I love to see that, you know? A bit of fucking attitude against your own teammates. I can respect it. <laughs> Does any of them have a stick? Alright. Coop doesn't have a stick. Uh you should get a stick. This is like a very sticky lane. You got an undying, an axe is gonna be spam on battle hunger, you're gonna need a stick. Jugs actually yeah. start with the full wand, so he's committed to the stick line. Oh, let's what's go. Uh, I do think I, d- I don't really like this blade dance level two. It just feels you're you're really hedging your bets on these two tangos lasting you until level four. Yeah. Um, and they probably won't, given what you're up against. This fucking undying hero, decay. Um, I, you still max tombstone on undying, right? There's no there's there's no like weird max soul rip thing. No, I think I, uh, you I definitely believe you put... max decay, isn't it? Isn't that yeah? You max decay. You max decay. It, it has base damage 120 on a four second cooldown. So yes. if you max it, you're like spamming out 120 damage plus the decay. I, I, I believe you max decay. That's the build. 
You certainly do. Uh, however, it depends sometimes. Maybe you have two ranged heroes and that tombstone will just, uh, you know, give you the extra. No, actually, there's no reason to not. No, yeah, I think I forgot, I forgot about the damage. You just get the max, okay? Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's all good. Uh, meanwhile, mid, though, I will have to say Primal Beast is dumpstering somehow. 12 oh, last hits nice. and three <laughs> denies uh, against a ranged Pugna. Uh, this should not be happening. But uh, what can you do? Pugna, of course, does have the ability to, uh, you know, slow Primal Beast down while he's trampling. So uh, there should be big. no reason he should have any last oh, hit. But so there you go. No big deal. Like I said, Cool Armor is probably the strongest player in this game. So he will Denied. perform well, uh, you'd hope. But I just... He is I, also I, I, a cool I, llama. Can you he is a cool llama. I think thing? what what Ben has done really well in the games where he's played Pugna is he Indians gets his like six or seven and then immediately goes bot and yeah, starts trying to take over the tower. Rotates. So it's going to be whether cool llama wants to like match that rotation and defend his bot tower or go and hunt the enemy carry or if he just like stays in lane AFK. Uh, he is a pos one player and and all pos one players' hearts is a desire to sit in a lane and farm. True so he may cool. not try and rotate to match Pugna. Bugna. I'm just trying to get the BQB. Oh, big arrow coming out of top. Slightly Nothing. misses. Sir Reginald, nice ward there from the Crystal Maiden, making sure that they see those arrows coming. What well, could be a very dominant lane if it wasn't for CM's incredible ward here. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's, uh, he's gone for a second level in Blade Fury, and now, as you called it, without tangos and with no healing ward, he's scared. Mate. Ah, that's what the support's for, baby. That's, yeah, that's Holy true. Amazing. If your support has four tangos, you don't There's care what you're hungry. doing anymore. Yeah, no problem. I would Carry fucking... Should... Wait there for the tombstone and dive this shit right now, boys. Right fucking oh, now. Oh, we they do see a kill up top. Oh my goodness gracious. The Slarky Malarkey with that added damage that you talked about appearing in flags. That is a permanent agility gain, may I remind you, gentlemen. Spin down at the bottom lane, Axe! Gonna get spun on. We do have the frost and the blades. There we go. No mana ah. on undying. They just give it the walk away. Incredible stuff there. The level two <laughs> tombstone. Just not. not oh my god, he's gone level. He's gone level two blade dance instead of fucking healing ward. Entirely reliant on Coop just keep bringing him tangos on the jug. Okay, he he ferried out some tangos. We're back in in business here, gentlemen. All right, this guy's ready. He's going max damage, max chat. He has nothing to lose. <laughs> it, I like this. This is so bad. Five percent crit chance instead of having healing ward right now. I don't, yes. I don't respect it. I don't respect it. Ninja really Very should have shit. got the call on him there. That was a definitive call situation. I would suggest. Well, there's a big fight going on in the top lane though. Primal Beast came top, killed a CM. They're committing for Slark. Oh! Oh! The death click. Unbelievable. Unbelievable death click right there. That is two essence shift. Permanent agility. That is rough. That is rough stuff. Mark has oh rough shit, stuff. that's cool. Thing. Can they get him? They do get him. Ninja lives. And he's got that ring of health. So he gonna be fine. Cool Llama has invis. What now, Cool Llama? He's gonna come bot and sort these boys out. He's only level five. Don't know what he Hedge can do. Leader. Potentially a mistake to rotate. He's he does need that five. level six. How is this He's only level five. What is he doing? He is gonna walk down there. Big old dinosaur about to make some other boys extinct potentially. Here comes the rush! <laughs> wow! That's Woo! the level two blade tots coming in strong. The crits for the kills. Double kill for Alfredo. The anal torpedo. It's very important to give his full and proper name every single yeah, time. Especially because we've got a guest this week, I want to make sure. Yeah, exactly. Oh, nice hey, arrow! Oh, shit. Like, I got some bad news for you. I'm looking at the fight recap here, and you're not going to believe this, but he actually crit three times in that engagement. Wow. Three times. About 5%. Well, that is a lie, actually. He didn't crit any time, but I hope you're silent. And uh, imagine if it happened, how dumb you'd feel. Think now, look right. at his... He's got, instead of level 3 Blade Fury, he's got... Now he's got the one point in Healing Ward. I don't think I've ever seen a Jug skill like this. Uh, potentially ever. This might be a new thing for the entire Dota Dota playing community. The 2-1-2. Two, two. It's like in chess. But it's going to work again. We have a whole new game. Here we go. Nice call. 
Where, where is this man's undying on right now? Uh, he's Doesn't going matter. mid. He's really not hurting him. He's the Vanguard. Him. Holy shit. Wow. The Vanguard procs. Pretty hype, guys. Love Pretty that hype. Vanguard. Very nice Vanguard. Very nice. You see? That's as efficient as possible. And dying was walking around somewhere, getting that XP. He knew that Axe wouldn't die. Mm -hmm. And that's what makes a good player there playing. <laughs> Perfect <laughs> understanding of data. You're far beyond my own. You're, you're absolutely correct. Incredible. Oh. Oh. Right now, a little... A little crazy That's stuff happening mid here. Pugna going That's for that tower damage. I like that. Ravage top. I'm playing big the ravage on the Crystal Maiden. She's fucked. We got her. She's dead. Crystal Maiden. <laughs> Tug it fucking down. Hell yeah. The follow up. Crystal Maiden Ravage into Arrow. Take that. Very good. Slark, however, quite happy. <laughs> He's uh, doing great. He's having a good round all the time. Oh, in goes. Uh... You must grab him! Oh, Mr. Ben Mama. is very swift! You must that suck him, a... Ben! Up, you must suck up. him! Oh no! Disaster! <laughs> well done. Oh, this is going to be this kid good. has done the math. Science whiz Ben. Yeah. He has seen the numbers and he is doing it. Absolutely incredible turnaround there from that, that ghastly <laughs> mid lane. He's really turned it up. Very good job, Ben. Primal Beast wondering right now why a little skeleton man moves at 375 move speed. <laughs> just outpacing the, the rampaging dinosaur. He is a child. Uh, he is you know, a child. Pugna Scampering is a child. along. Kids are very fast. Is he meant to be a child? Do. You're, you're the law man, he's obviously. He is. He's, he's a little baby. Is that why he, very he, he does a little... He's got like a childish nursery right now. Oh, hello. That's right. Oh, that's a pretty strong spin there. I, I potentially just bite it, but no, he TPs out. Nice TP. I guess uh, Jug did not have mana for Omni Slash, but he couldn't have known that. He did. Might um, be. But I think there, there was in a creep wave, and he obviously thought, you know, let's not. Oh, he didn't have mana, actually. Sorry. I thought he did. Okay. Don't worry about it, Pyrian Flags. These kind of high level plays are very hard to keep up with. Very incredible. Nice D ward, but on dying. Uses the haste room for the D ward. Incredible job there. As now, look at these wards up top. May I see your attention, gentlemen? No arrow. This is a no-fly zone for arrows. Okay? That is hype. Very good warding. Yep. The Probably. arrows will be spotted. Indeed. This lock is 53 and 13. Uh, and also has uh, two kills, I believe. Sorry, one, one, and one. One of them was an assisto. Jug I'd say has... the only out and out loser of this laning phase is Tide. He is so far behind that Undying may get to Wraith Pact before Tide does. Yeah, well, Sam is having a nightmare. Wraith Pact is try harding, which we do not allow in this tournament. They all get him. <laughs> they always get it. I hate to tell you, Jake, but it's a staple. It's effed up. Do multiple Wraith Pact stack? That is my question. They do not. You not... can um, you can definitely get one and, and keep them. As long as they don't overlap, I think if you're as long as you're in the effect, that would be fine. So you could have one for the front liners, one for the back liners, I guess. Exactly. Exactly. Why do we not see more teams five man wraith back? Very expensive. Uh, Just five man <laughs> wraith back. Yeah. Can I kill Ben in the mid lane with a little a snipe from Lich? Nice. I would Very have done nice. the same. Well played, Lich. I do think right. when Ben respawns, he's probably just going to TP bots and do what he normally does in these games and start taking over the bot jungle. Make your carry really sad, have to go farm somewhere else and take towers. And doing this all whilst uh, your the Radiant offlaner isn't really strong enough to fight is much easier. Oh, so, hello. Ravage. Ravage top lane. CM is D. Reg, going for the TP out. Imagine if they had Ravage now. Gosh. Wow, a nice TP out there. Very good. Bottom lane getting pushed in as well. Looks like Radiant is uh, suffering from you know, some lane issues here as they will lose bottom and the commit a Ravage to the top. They've already lost the mid. Things get worse and worse for Team Radiant. However, there is a power spike on route. As soon as this BKB comes out from the Primal Beast, they can do whatever they want for the mid game. So whatever we shall they see. want within the rules of Dota 2. <clears throat> Jake, did you watch the video that, that Jenkins did where those guys put like 300 tangos, shared tangos on the ground and it crashed Dota? No, no, I got So, it. he was watching the replay and like two players abandoned the game, it was fucking awful. And these lads got all these tangos, split them as shared tangos and put them down. 
and it causes the game to fall apart. So the creeps, right. you can't hit each other. <laughs> um, you can't hit the buildings very often. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. Uh, the Morphling bought three rapiers uh, and couldn't see the enemy, and the creeps ignore each other. So they will just walk past each other as what? if nothing's happening. It's uh, you got to watch the vid. It's utterly bizarre. Oh, that's fantastic. Very cool. Arrow. Why not combine this with the charge grab into arrow? They don't think yeah, about these things, know. do they, the lads? They don't really. They don't really think. It's not a There's a tendency to, for the Moronis to want to be the hero, you know. If they hit the arrow out of nowhere, think about how cool that looks. They think it's Whereas if you hit it on a stun target, that's just that's just what you're supposed to do. That's boring. Yep. They want to have that clutch moment in the in-house. So that's why we're here to go down in history. So living or dying. Here's another example of dog shit goonery. Uh, oh, and there's another example. There is a did CM. They don't have Ravage. There's the suck on Reg. Coop gets the off. It's going to be a bouncer. It's a bouncer. We got a bouncer. And then it stops. Can they do anything here? There's oh, a, a big hole. hole! Holy shit! Samo might be in trouble. Doesn't have Ravage yet. They get the Marana too. My god almighty. And the Dunkaroo on the way out. Lord. That's plus like four Agi, plus one armor. The so, scaling begins. You know what the mad thing is? Is that Axe didn't have Blink. Walked, walked at them. <laughs> and they were away. <laughs> then they decided to turn and fight. In goes Bet Primal. Pre BKB, where he basically just gets Radiant's fucked by most of their team, I'd suggest. Uh, and, uh, you know, Dyer's bottom that was it. Fight loss could have just been an easy nil nil, walk away, but no, they wanted to fight and fight they did. I'm sure they consoled themselves with the thought of those two CM kills they've got with their Ravagers previously, as yeah. they didn't have it for this fight. They did get the CM, that's true. That will be a free blink dagger on your axe right there. However, they do have a moment of uh, safety here. Axe will be going for the BKB instead of blade mail. Amateur blade mail hour sucks. mistakes here. Blade mail sucks. Excuse me. Why would you Excuse fucking me. get it? It's dog Why shit. Why would you get blade mail on Axe? Why it's would dog you get shit. It? Ex it's dog okay, shit. Okay, go ahead. Don't bother. Ahead. It does fuck all. Explain. When was the last time all. you saw... Yeah, it's fucking useless. Okay. I think it's absolutely <laughs> crap. I really do. It's an absolute waste of a slot. Get a BKB. You got a guy who can force enemies to hit you and become invincible. For how long? Doesn't matter. You get a sniper, he insta kills himself. You get a jog, he, he might insta kill himself. I don't think so. It's not long enough. They're going to get a kill here. Axe with oh, a mega monster call! Oh. Holy shit! So They do get the lick shot off. Oh my days. Tide, wow, Tide did not get that he had... I guarantee you Tide had TP'd here, because look at the cooldown on this TP scroll. Tide had TP'd to this fucking tower to go and fight the creeps here. Stop TP'ing to the lane! Walk, you lazy fucks! Incredible <laughs> advice. But Tide did not get that fat walking, my friend. He is, uh, you know, that's part of the lore. Gotta respect that. Sorry, what, what was the lore? The lore is that he's obese. All right, you don't get fat <laughs> by walking. And he's only okay? got a little stubby legs as well. Take it. Dying it's hard for him to walk around, you know. How, I think it's fair that he uses uh, the mobility option. That's true, Plague. But how is the lore that he's obese? What is? What does it say in the lore? He can't breathe, so he can't walk very well. That's the lore. It, it talks about his inhaler. It talks about how he's no, on the doesn't. water. It does. it does. He's a deep sea creature. He always talks about it. Yeah, he's dried up on the land, right? He's he shriveled up. He can't breathe, dude. So he's struggling. He's struggle city. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. All right, uh, this axe is clearly, uh, you know, a smoke. Uh, I don't know any other way to put it. <laughs> I'm trying not to, uh, you know, downgrade the legitimacy of the tournament, the but uh, these have been some incredible calls. That's There's true. No way Tide does legit. say I could eat a I could eat a sea cucumber. That is that's true. But I just thought that's because right. he's a big fucking fish, not because he's a. No, gordo. it's just an eating issue. He just can't stop he, gobbling he has down fish. Body dysmorphia. But dude, look at his it fucking is... shoulders and look at his back. This man is hench as fuck. You know, you get really a lot of muscles when you're carrying around that much chain. <laughs> if you told me he was hungry, <laughs> I would believe it. But if you, t I would, I would say he's hungry because he's fucking stacked. You know? They're gonna they're gonna in Marana ult down here to try and get this slark who's clearly about to leave. 
Ah, oh, the lads and their little smokes and rotations. Cool, bless them. It's all good, my friend. They are in prime territory. Look at these wards from CM. Can I just talk about this ward? This is locked up. Every single angle of this mid lane, nobody crossing the river without getting seen right now. Chrisium is going bonkers. Meanwhile, Dyer, oh shit, oh. zero wards. Wow, I thought that arrow would tag Slark, but uh, no, it had not. Do you think uh, so? The primal beast is closing in on BKB. One thing I noticed that was funny about that fight top where they all fucking died was that the axe didn't have blink yet. He was like a hundred gold off, and they chose to fight. And we say this every week. If you are close to a big item that you need, for example, for example, blink on axe, why look to fight just before you get it? Just say, can we fight? Hold on, I've almost got blink. Job done. And then you just wait a second. But they don't. They always fucking go. They always go for it. Every time. It's confusing. Yeah, best of both worlds. You know, cool armor is down here. Game, He's gonna get caught get by your... Reg. Aww. He's defusal. Nice job there, is what I would say if any of those spells connected. But unfortunately, Lama's gonna get battle hungry and he gets broke. Oh no, oh no. Where's Slark? Slark leave. Is under attack. He's fine. They he's got, got four essence to sh He's very happy, my he's friend. Happy. Very he's happy. 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 It's all good though. Juggernaut is gonna get a Manta style pretty soon. He is top net worth with this Maelstrom. That's right. The Juggernaut is smart. He did not get a Battle Fury. Another big Dota tip. You can tell if your Juggernaut is smart or not. If they get Maelstrom or Battle Fury. This is a Jug player now. We know this. So eh, this game could go either way. Potentially. I'm, I'm not sure about the Manta though. I don't really know what he's building it for this game. Unless he thinks he's really fucking cool. And he's going to dodge cool. So we, we talk um, about this a lot, Jake. Which is that the, the default Manta on Jug. The yeah. issue with it is, is it's a lot of money. And you kind of don't have anything to do with it. Like, what is he mantering? Oh my god, that was unfortunate. The arrow hit. There's the call on the Jug. Jug did get the spin off. Cool Lama's trying to do some shit. There's oh, the Ravage. Ravage. Everybody. They're going to get Ninja here. They do get three of them. Can they get Science as many? He's doing the sucky suck. They don't have a way to cancel this. They're going to punch his ward down. Get him. He stomp, stomp, clicked. He's dead. They get four for a Lich. Slark, meanwhile. Reg not involved. Started the fight and then promptly left. That's what I like to see from my carry players. Very, very hype stuff there. You know, the axe he calls, he thinks he's a big boy. He gets that call on a spin. But the damage, you see, he didn't have blade mail, so he didn't return <laughs> any of that. <laughs> very sad. It's a, it's, oh no, it's Power a... Rangers down in the mid. They are now, Power I don't know Rangers. why they're fighting. They are Power Rangers. Okay, they do have tombstone. They do have tombstone. That's a big He goes Alfredo like a maniac. He's gonna get a kill and just call me Mori. Mori is dead. Just call me Daddy. A dire run into the major issue. They have don't have a Wraith pack, so they automatically lose every single fight. <laughs> and they Rich just have to hope they're on dying can stumble Rich his way to one. They wanna do something. Can they yep, sneak yep. up on him? The call is a whiff! The arrow is a whiff! Kulama goes in, gets the gets the, the barge, but nothing else. Reg is going to run away here. He's getting spun on, gives it the leap away. Do they have any lockdown? They do not. Kulama in I trouble. Bast is huge. Oh, Ooh. they're going to get Samohi. He doesn't have Ravage. They know that. There's a call on the back line. Uh, somehow only catches Marana. The Lich ult doing a little bit of bouncing. They're okay. Samo, oh my god. Reg has 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Probably's coming back in. Still going. Reg is low, Llama's gonna go down, he died like one fucking spin! Alfredo's gonna try and get a kill on Bast. He does, but what now, sir? Can he kill Reg? He cannot. In comes Lich. Kill the Lich! Oh no. The blink call! Oh, oh, throw Lich the is in back his way. Throw the Wraith back just for the walls, please. Oh no. Again. I was watching a Slark that entire time. I could just see the the neurons firing off for that for that young man. He just didn't know who to jump until eventually, a target showed himself. That that meandering tide hunter just hanging who about. Did survive. You know, he's just hanging about. Probably the worst thing you can do is just kind of meander, let all your teammates come and save you, and then continue to meander. <laughs> Very depressing stuff. Um, so the the, 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 oh, axe nice blink, the axe blink was cancelled by the wraith pact. 
by the way. The, the little wraith packed Tickaroo, uh, the little little tiny little tick of damage cancelled the uh, the axe blink. Michael oh, here goes the charge. The charge He's on. He's got his BKB now. Ben. The call is cancelled. I'm not sure what. It's not. He didn't know his blink's not cancelled. He just didn't use it. The ravage. Ben is doing the suck. Oh my god, they almost got Reg! Alfredo was too busy fucking spinning! You idiots! Every fucking jug game, Jake! Get ready for this. Yeah. If yeah, by yeah. some twist of fate, or you lose a bet or something, you have to play with these goons, Alfredo will pick jug every single fight. No matter how farmed they are, the goon jug will start with spin. They'll open with spin! It's not like their ult does any damage, or they could just fucking right click you. They will open with spin every single time. I don't so part know of what why. we do here at the in-house night is Pyrian's therapy time. You know, he gets yeah. to let out his grievances from the past week of playing with the goons. Just hit him! <laughs> <laughs> he got the shard though. He got the shard. He's on. He's on his peak spin potential right now. The shard. The, the, the fucking. Damage. But the slark. He. The only time. <laughs> the only time that he can ult him is when he's stunned. He could. He was alone. He was alone standing next to him. Reg is going to miss the dust! How did he know? Again! Again! He He's in now! Here it yeah, comes! Good. good job with that spin, buddy! Oh, oh he gets the ult off! They get one! Where'd the jug end up? He's running away! Kulama's stopping about! Reg goes ulti. down! Kulama charges out! I'm not quite sure why! Samo's still in there! He's just chilling! Nice job, Alistair! Uh-oh, this is trouble! Mark Lich goes down! Subbed for 19 months. Yeah. This is they are the they are healing them ready to go. They can still right? fight this on, on Radiant. Yeah, but they're fucking they do have spin. cowards. <laughs> they do have spin back up as well. Look, they're, right. they're looking to re-engage. They are going to re-engage. This is, this is a smart maneuver here. All their big ults oh, are down. Come on, Dinosaur, dinosaur Man. Time to go. Oh. You know what? This is a safe to. thing to do. They're going to they're gonna wait for the creeps. They're going to push the tower. Very safe. Very smart. So how they saw that Slark, there was a sentry ward placed eight minutes ago that was wow. ten seconds away from despawning and Slark happened to walk through it. It was wow. terrible timing. In they go! Oh, they They're gonna get a kill here! They tag him up! Tag him and back! There's the call! But he's interrupted! Somehow they didn't catch Cool Llama! Reg is trying to jump on the jug, it's not gonna work! Samo's looking, he's got Ravage in a little bit! Nine seconds! Keep the fight going, just nine seconds, boy! The charge from Cool Llama! There's an arrow! Catches him again! In comes the Marana! She could do some work here! She does get a kill! Samo gets a kill as well! There's the Ravage! Can they get more? Alfredo gets the spin down on Sires with Ben! He beat him easy and he's running away! Just call me Mori with the Glimmer Cape! Sires with Ben is low! There goes the charge! Picks up when they get all of them! They're all dead! This might be the hypest game I've ever seen. I, this is unbelievable. This is in and out. It is Murder City here, and Juggernaut's healing ward is MVP. Just getting them back into that fight, all that damage back up. Hey, Pyrrhon, I, I hate to be this guy, but this guy uses spin like five times per peep. He I know, dude. Spin, he lives, he ends with spin. He's yeah. spinning all over the place. He got, he got the job done. Got the job done. He's like a drain. Incredible. Incredible stuff. And his, his net worth is out of control at this point. No one's even close to where this jug oh, is. Right he's huge. He is huge. You know I what? I think he's though? finished Basher with another 1,000 gold on top. He is enormous. Has Slark just not been hitting get... creeps? What's happened? I think, I think he's he not been getting the kills in fights, hole. maybe. Mm. Uh, well, he's yeah, 4, 3, what? and 7. Jug is 9, 4, and 10. That's a lot of money. You've been involved in 19 kills, 9 of them were your own. Slark's been involved in 11 kills, and only 4 of them were his own. It is the fault of Marana, or uh, excuse me, uh, Crystal Maiden. Crystal Maiden made Slark's lane too easy. Mm. Okay, she put up a bunch of visions, she got him a bunch of kills, and then what does he do? He's like, I'm gonna buy Shadow Boy. I'm invincible. <laughs> you know, you can't do that. If your carry gets more than two kills in the laning phase, they will throw the game. Mm. I leave every single time. If they get more than two kills, I'm like, okay. Uh, no, I'm, I'm goodbye, goodbye. <laughs> They need to lose. Carries don't know what to do if they get ahead. All right, they, they get blood drunk. I so, think my uh, favorite part about your analysis of Dota is always everybody analyzes the builds and the draft and stuff. You understand the mentality 
because you play Dota with not your friends. You play them with okay. random people. I think you're That's right. the mix of people that you've experienced Dota with. You understand the true Dyer's nature of Dota top better than most. I do. It's evil. It is evil. And here goes Reg. He wants to die. Oh, Reg, thinking about him there, boy, he's thinking about- I just hit him once! Hey, he Give me a hit him once! Here I am! Touched him on the butt and he ran away! Very <laughs> terrifying stuff! <laughs> Try to shoot him, yeah. Hive! Oh, he's gone! He is baiting right now. Big baits coming out from Reg. Where's he uh, running to? Uh, what, but what is occurring? What, what is this? Report! He's, he's Report! He's carried Big from. call! Big ravage, though! That stops that! Puts paid to that! This is trouble for the Dyer team. They're gonna lose a lot of people here. Holy shit! They lost four. Tony, instead of the Shadow Blade, he had like an axe on Stark, you know, so he can get in and out of these fights and these no, no. kind of cute plays to provoke spells would work, but not not this. And why did he choose to run the longest way possible rather than getting to his team and to friendly eye into his into the arms of his of his lovers on Dyer? Well, Instead, he just ran worry. through the forest. I mean, what I want to know it's is over. he's not the initiator. Axe is the initiator. I would even take Undying as the initiator. Just waddling in, ulting, sticking down the tombstone, anything to make them group up. Slark goes in with his shadow blade like, there's no way they would have thought to put vision here, lads. I've only been caught twice that way so far. And then. They just fucking catch him and kill him! He doesn't even manage to leap away. He just dreams of the blood of killing a lich, you know? Instead, he just keeps finding this primal beast and Tide, the, the fat watermelon and the angry dino, and he can't kill them. He can't I don't kill think them. he can even kill lich at this point. Lich has 1300 HP and is about to finish a 4 star. Watch, I go into showcase mode right now and look at primal beast's butt and tell me you you could resist giving that a, a big meaty slap. All right, that's, I mean, that's less on Slark and more on the model designers. Look at that rumpa dump just swaying back. You gotta give that a slap if you got a chance, and that's on them. So because of his sorry. tail, it's like it's like a, a a juicy butt with a giant dick attached. Yeah, you, people like that, dude. I've seen anime <laughs> before. They like that shit. <laughs> All right, allies disappear. They're ready to fight. Oh, hello. Well, There's the dinosaur. Oh, Reg is ultra low, has there. to pop out already. They have blink already. Oh, Here he oh, hey! I can't tell who's winning this fight. Rage Packs are doing mess. business. No damage at all. No one's suffering any everybody damage. Has has two everybody rage has Rage Packs now. Now it's run out. They are they can get ninja snowman. It's about sustain at this point. Alfredo still wants more. They get him. They get two. Axe no buyback. Oh, Slark's gone in. They might get cool armor. They get the defusal on him. They get the pounce. Interrupted. Oh, no. no mana on the Slark. He's oh, oh, shit! Out. Ooh, and cool armor's still alive. He's still alive. They didn't lose anybody. Primal Beast lives. You know, sometimes it don't work out. <laughs> that was a... The Dyer's Battle of the Wraith Packs, and uh, they just had more things in the tank. Can they I got just more say, ways to get back into these Jake, fights. very quickly, look at Judd's items, and tell me which yeah. of these you would swap out for a finished basher. <laughs> look, wow. the eight, it's, it's the eight decision. charge magic wand is important, all right? Okay, is this important. is gonna keep him alive. That's true. I have to agree. I mean, bashing? Who can, why bash them when you can just kill them? And with that, 10 charges, this is gonna save his life. Mark He's my up words. to 11 now, it's just getting better every oh. second. You see? Batcher doesn't get better. <laughs> Juan. Juan. I mean, who would win? Harry Potter or me with a sledgehammer? Well, the leash was well timed. Can they get anything here? Where's Axe? I think Ninja Snowman didn't BKB before he went in, so he got interrupted. There's a call, but he only catches one. They want to try and back it up the here. Ages. The Lich is bouncing around. They get the job, but as you say, it is but the ages. Samo's eating shit here in the CM hole. Alfredo comes in. In comes the charge Ooh. from Kulam. Reg is able to get out. They're going to go on Bastmaster. That's about all they can go for. There's the root on it to stop the charge, but they can't get any more than this. I think it's going to be very hard. The Sark, he's easily able to leg it. Reduce sanity. Just hidden buildings this whole time. Are under attack. Radiance top tower is under attack. 20k Rough gold lead coming up. Alfredo oh, goes in. Here we 
We do have blink on the axe ready to roll, but uh, no. Oh, one. watch out! Everyone's coming. <laughs> I would highly suggest not initiating if you were the axe right now. But here we go. So I think this over, guys. <laughs> yeah, I think if you're not winning the fight when they have no ults, you're not going to win it when they do have ults. And Ravage is back up in two seconds. Oh, CM just speeding. Sad CM right there. Look how little damage the suck does. Ben is realizing that he's no match for Primal Beast at this point. There goes the Juggle. They're gonna get Reg. They get Axe. The Ravage goes down on Bast as well. Cool Llama is still alive somehow. I'm not quite sure how. They're gonna get the charge in on Ben as well. They're all dead. Call it, boys. It's GG. That's it. Game one is in the books. Ouch. Ouch. Another sad tale, my friends, of a, a carry with too easy of a lane. Slarky Malarkey had everything he could ask for, but he does go for Shadow Blade first. Not good. And that is uh, where we will see that one going down there. But a uh, dominant victory. However, I saw some signs of life. That axe was real good. We could see a very exciting game for game two. These guys are not the same guys in game two. It's a whole different bunch That's of That's a shame. All right. Well, they're <laughs> fucking done. And it's going to get it? even this worse. This is their one chance for a week. And this they're, is they're with Bowdoin. Yeah, this is it. No. So this is, uh, you now need to pick, Jake, since you're our guest. I'll explain yeah. the system. There's an MVP, who is the player of the game. There's an LVP, who is the worst player in the game. Then you can give honorables and dishonorables to players as you see fit, and they can be from any team. MVP should generally, in almost every case, be from the winning team, LVP from the losing team, obviously, and then you can assign honorables and disons, ons and disons as you see fit. So it's up to you, brother. Absolutely. Well, I it'd be hard for me to be honest with myself and not say that the Juggernaut, of course, was your MVP this game. Okay. I mean, great builds, great damage, 16 and four, unbelievable. Uh, MVP God, Alfredo. I, yeah. There you go. I mean, I really don't want to be toxic. It's so hard for me to think of a, a opposite of MVP. It's Slark. Slark. It's Slark is the MVP. <laughs> Reg is the MVP. Uh, okay. I really thought hard about it. God, it is a bit... I just don't want to be toxic, but absolute dog shit. Uh, <laughs> honorable, honorable mentions. mentions. Honorable mentions You said here. the axe um, did well. I don't know if you want to The axe him. is an honorable mention. Of course, great calls. Uh, questionable going, uh, be, uh, you know what, but Pyrian Flax likes it. You're a Pyrian Flax fan. I agree. Looks good. Honorable mention for the axe. Dishonorable mention, of course, uh, for my friend, uh, Crystal Maiden. Too many wards. Too, too many, many wards, idiots. Making life too easy too for his Slark. Ruined many. his Slark's mentality. Too much vision. So, and yeah. died it's terrible. Times as well. But again, so, you could have bought a BKB. <laughs> you could have bought a BKB if you didn't spend all that money on wards. 12 wards? No. You guys needed a position four. We got 18 centuries from Undying. We got 12 centuries from CM. Too too much supporting. Too Get much supporting. There you go. There you go. All right. So I'm in the go. lobby for the next one, and we have a we have a treat for you, Jake. Okay. We, what we've we got, got Johnny Boy, a.k.a. Bonnie Joy. Uh, who is the brother of a regular member of, of my stacks, Greg. This is Greg's brother. He's bad at dotes. He's a little bit bonkers. Uh, and he, I, I don't think I, I, I trust him as a captain. So this could be a real treat. I can't wait, Perry to Flags. This guy is the brother of a person that I have no fucking idea who he is. <laughs> a very <laughs> incredible hype moment for me. To see this guy's brother play. I'm glad you're excited. Twaffle. Very good. All right, Alex has one hero. It's Grimstroke, and even then, Grimstroke. I'd say it's occasionally questionable. So, we'll see. How does someone main Grimstroke? That is he, very so questionable. Grim, I, I, I do love Grimstroke. He did. They. He did get nerfed. There was a time there where he was genuinely, unbelievably strong. Um, True. He's kind of he kind of falls off if you combo him with the right lineup. Like if you build a lineup around the fact that all your single target spells are going to be doubled, it is very pog. But uh, they they did nerf him quite a bit, unfortunately. But it, it was ridiculous. Like you yes. could win games with him really easily. So I think Alex got into him around the same time I did, which was when he was very strong. And I played a lot of Grim, played him mid a lot, and you just get a fucking E blade, and you stick your spirit on them and shit, and they just die. 
it's hilarious. Um, but yeah, he's uh, he, he does love to play grim. Uh, he's not what he was. I do still think that against any team that's heavy on spirits, Grimstroke is strong because none of them, Puck, can't do shit either. So Ember, Storm, they Void, they cannot use any of their escapey shit under Grimmel, mm -hmm. which is insane. And it's BKB piercing. Like that in itself is very, very strong because it has no stun or, or anything like that to it. It's not amazing, but I still think it's very, very, very good. That is absolutely true. I mean, Grimstroke can be extremely good, but it's all about the lineup and it's all about that high level thinking. And I think Grimstroke's biggest issue is that he has to dedicate himself to one of his spells in the early game, right? Because mm. uh, the level one wife, um, if you don't know the, <laughs> the, the wife. lore, <laughs> the level one wife, his, his beautiful, uh, you know, lover, Yao Wai, that's a real lore. Look it up. Um, the wife, it, she takes, yeah, gotta sink points into it. Same thing with the ink swirl thing, mm. the, you know, the stun. Ink swell, yeah. Yeah, all that shit, you gotta, you gotta max one of them, and that choice can just... Ugh, I think you're way. right. The scaling on them is sort of, it's sort of rough. You've got to, uh, you've got to pick one, for sure. If you're mid, you just max the Q, and you're kind of like, say, Pugnor or Lena, in that you can just wipe the wave out, and uh, you don't need to bother standing there and uh, and last hitting. You just go Vroom! and take everything. So they they are now balanced. His cast ranges feel kind of low as well, right? Yeah, that's like, the I always, thing. especially if you don't max the E, it feels really tricky to get it going. Um... I would agree with that. I mean, that's why I think Ether Lens is is a vital item on him for sure. And also some of his spells, like later on, Stroke of Fate gets a big cast range buff. I think it's plus fifteen hundred or something stupid like that. So you can paint like the whole fucking screen. Um, I think the tricky thing is, is if you run him as a five, which is basically because he's squishy and a very sort of long range damage and slow and everything like that, you kind of, if you run him as a four, it has to be exactly the right lane. The thing is, if you do run him as a four, you can cancel their pull and you can pull yourself at range with um, Stroke of Fate, which is really strong. If they go on your teammate, you just stick the ink swell on them. And the silence is very, very good against a lot of heroes early on. Because they just, like, you can shut down a bunch of heroes from doing stuff. Um, mm. But it, it's not great. I mean, they just nerfed a, a lot of stuff on him, unfortunately. But I think, I, I, I played a lot of Grim, and I do love him. Um, and he can be amazing, but you need the right setup. I would like to make some meta commentary here. I, the guy, anytime that you see somebody with a Dota hero as their profile picture, <laughs> and then you click on it, and they have like that hero's items in there as well, that's some real psychopath energy there. I mean, that is. Uh, why would you let people know what hero you want to do? It's only because you want to inflict the pain on the one out of every ten games where you actually win with that hero. They I click on you. your profile, and they're like, "Oh my god, grim." The worst thing you could ever see. Is a guy that uses their Dota one name with their picture. Five seconds. It's terrifying. Team Some team guy team. out there named like, I don't know, uh, what's a uh, radiant uh, team prophet's team. old name? Uh, Furion. Nature's prophet. Furion has got a nature's prophet thing. The only thing in his, uh, his thing are a bunch of treants. That's terrifying shit. So uh, I also think the problem is energy. they know who to ban against you. Like if you're that into a hero, that's why I've got. If you look at my profile, I've got a bunch of heroes I yeah. don't fucking play. Like smart. I, I'm thinking there. I, I I have changed it to a bunch of axe fists, but for a while I just had like as my sort of on my my profile. If anyone checked it, it was like Meepo Chen, and I I think Lone Druid or or Brewmaster or something like that. So they think, oh, we better ban these heroes, and then I could pick anything but those heroes. I mean, that's my one thank you to Valve. I do have on my profile level 30 techies with all these mm. stats. I don't like new techies, so Ten I constantly remaining. get them banned against me. And I'm like, great, great. I haven't played that hero in nine months. Perfect. Five seconds. Remember. All right, so we're going to see Primal Beast banned out immediately along with the Axe. Some, of course, low MMR stompers. Jakiro and Sniper, also low MMR stompers as well. I'm surprised we didn't see more abuse with invisible heroes uh, so far. Well, you saw, kind of guys. you saw a, a Marana and a Shadow Did I? Slog. Really? Yeah. Was that? I'm saying they were in the game. That's what I'm saying is, you're not gonna, like, you can pick the invisible heroes, but even the goons know to put wards down because they've wow. had it drummed into them. And then if there is an invisible hero, they will massively overextend and perish. So it's kind of interesting. They don't use it the right way. There's the other okay. guy again. 
First walk, I'm dying. Shout out to no patch since the international. Even the goons know what to pick at this point. And that is uh, it's very kind impressive. of surprising. So far, no appearance of the number one goon hero, Witch Doctor. Normally a staple so of this So he was banned in game one, to be fair. Banned in game one. That's how important he is to these people. They're yeah. first banning Witch Doctor. Also, I want to point out, allowed Clay, through. we have lost a lot of games to Witch Doctors lately. Like, we sometimes God. cry about getting Bongo Ben, you know, like, and uh, but the, the Bongo Ben. But the thing is, the Shard Blink is so strong on that hero that you cannot kill him. And I mean, it's literally impossible. He, if if he gets his shard off and he he does his shard ult, he can always blink away and then and then get you again. And Maledict is a lane winning spell, remaining. hands down, one of the most lane winning spells. It's ridiculous. Five seconds. Radiant remaining. obviously tuned in to the draft last game. Pick Undying and Snapfire, so they can't get Snapfire against it. Um, there you go. Knowing that the other team, have, of course, watched Dyer game one, back. clever. Pango. Ooh. Okay. Pango, I think probably the the flavor of the month hero, I'd say. I think he's fantastic. But most importantly, Action Dan is a Pango spammer. Like oh my only God. Pango. Almost to the same extent that Alex is only Grimstroke. Plague, when was the um, last time that Dan got a Pango remember. through? It's been a, a long few months that he has had Pango permanently banned against him. Like it's like number one ban. They're up against Dan, they banned Pango. He's cheering his heart out right now. Action Pango. Dan Galea. Wow. That doesn't, that doesn't sound good. Dangle here. Yeah. Action, well, action, action Dango was action, action Pango. Action Dangle. Wow. Action Dangle. I know. <laughs> Don't like that one. Fantastic. Mature audiences only on this in house league. Uh, Pangalier. Not quite sure what this hero does. Uh, Ten seconds remaining. Dumpster he seems, tier, in my best. He seems to just shit out damage dumpster for the most part. Shit. Just, just dumpster abusive dumpster. amounts of damage. I, this I, early? He's dumpster amazing. Uh, my my issue is he's a, he is a weak laner. I, I honestly yeah. think he is. A lot of the time, a very weak laner um, against a lot of heroes because if you have to use your Q constantly to escape, like the the shield crash used to be like. Oh, you just max shield crash, you don't think any damage. But you're only up against one guy when you go mid. And if you go off lane, you shield crash, and then you Q to get away from the damage, then you have no Ten fucking mana. Remaining. Like, none. You constantly have to buy mana on this hero if you want to get in there and hit remaining. any creeps. It it's a big issue. His spells are expensive, and he has a teeny tiny mana pool to start with. Radiant team it is back. rough. It is rough. But uh, picking a Pango this early is an issue. Now, Pango does absolutely nothing if you manage to get any kind of BKB piercing stun. Uh, should this be a pro game, uh, Bane would be automatically picked right now. Radiant it be yeah. it's, a, it's a pick. Uh, but, you, I mean, uh, but then you'd have to push on dying or snap up to, to core. This is why the goons always picking their supports early kind of reveals their hand because, yes. I mean, they could pick a they could pick a Bane. Uh, but I like that the stoners have picked a Pango. They're like, okay, uh, I'm going to pick this. I mean, they could pick Ten a Beastmaster, but they need someone that can play it. Uh, Bane is, I think, the best. Grimstroke is Five really good against Pango. Remaining. They've decided not to pick that. Uh, it's kind of difficult. Rubik is fun because you can just steal roll if you're lucky and uh, roll around yourself. It's kind of kind of funny. Pretty hype, honestly. Pretty hype. Okay, next pick coming out here. Uh, they have banned. See that respect ban of the Grimstroke. They looked at his profile picture and they're like, "What the hell, Grimstroke?" That's the easiest ban in the world. There, very shameful. A tide hunter. Lot of lot of damage here, guys. For all the good things you can say about Pango, he's not a wraith pack builder, right? So someone on on Dire will have to build a wraith pack. Otherwise, this tide hunter will stick his down and the game's over. You might as well just take your hands off the keyboard. The casting spells means nothing. They take no fucking damage. So you will need one of the supports or a core that's willing to build. Gyrocopter plus four, presumably? I don't know, mate. I, I don't know. This is a uh, question. It's a wild pick to throw out there. If, Mid gyro. If, if you run gyro as a five here. He does make Tidehunter very sad because he just goes and runs all on the next to him, right? Like, that's a thing, I think. Storm Spirit! What? What? Of all the spirits to go for, I was not expecting that one. So yeah. they don't have many stuns, right? Only Ven showing a stun so far. Pango mm -hmm. will get a basher eventually, but that's still not the worst thing in the not, world. Not enough block there, I'd suggest. Yeah, I think it's it's fine to pick it here, but you have last pick as well. If you wanted to go for Storm, could've you could have waited. Could have waited. They banned Grim, they banned Silencer. Dire team ban. uh, two heroes that kind of uh, 
uh, uh, can ruin him. So they banned Void themselves. Um, I think oh. Void actually would have been okay, I guess. Very good. <laughs> Very good. We'll see, though. Uh, Carrie, huh? I kind of care. I think this is still probably an easy kind of jug situation. Not too shabby against Five somebody like a Bloodseeker. Not sure. I think Bommy B has been a lifesteal player in the past, and he's normally a pos one player, I'd say, for, for Radiant. The Timber ban makes sense, but I think sure. their team would be... I don't know, what if they, they fit a Timber into this lineup, I mean, that'd be <laughs> impressive. It would be impressive. I, I guess, guess that'd be a Pango mid, mid pango you know, right? carry, yeah. Seeker, and offlane Timber. I, I think a Timber gyro lane would scare the hell out of me. The <laughs> yeah. gyro's damage is fucking crazy. And a Timber? I wouldn't enjoy that. All right, taking some time with this decision here, gentlemen. So th this is probably going to be Johnny Boy Storm, apparently, uh, wow. a hero he enjoys playing. So to give you Bonnie some, Joy is not great at those two. Idea. He he is abysmal. Um, <laughs> okay. Is how I would put it. So this could be a fascinating one. Well, luckily for us, he is picking the most important character in the lineup. <laughs> so that is hype. I know I always stick the worst guy mid as a spirit hero. That is a uh, very smart. We'll see this last pick coming out here. Uh, they are a very flexible draft, as you can tell. A lot of these. I can see like a leaner anything. or something being a kid. <laughs> oh my god! Okay. An anti mage. All right, guys. Uh, this could be a support AM. <laughs> I hope not. We don't this know is a how mess this is of a draft. Go. It is a. There's a, a, a. There's a lot of damage in this draft. Let's put it that way. If Ten these guys times. get farmed, that is a lot of. Here damage. we go. Here we go. Off lane Bloodseeker. Position five four, revenge. No, no, no. I think it's mid Support, blood seeker. Position five, gyro. It's mid, mid blood pango. seeker. I guarantee you, mid blood seeker, gyro pango, venge am. That, those are the links. Select your heroes. That's incredible. Pa. That is incredible. I would like to see the pa mid over Johnny Boy, but uh, <laughs> that's not happen. So here we go. I would okay, like guys. to see well, any of these heroes mid over. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with my prediction that if Pangolin doesn't go Wraith Pact, Dyer will automatically lose the game, and I'm just sticking with that no matter what. I think Zarapa that's my that's my understanding it. of Dota 2. I honestly it's think all Zarapa about Wraith Pact. Get it, dude. Like him or Retro Frog, but it's hard to farm that. Much. I don't know how you can persuade your Gyro. Gyros, they've got you know what we talked about with Slark, the blood, right? Gyros are blood seekers, you know they kill. They're not gonna go yes. to Wraith Pact. They're going like Veil E Blade. Why does everything have to be about Wraith Pact, you know? I mean, Gyro has Side Gunner. He can shoot the Wraith Pact all as well. You know how I would fix Wraith Pact, guys? Is that it negates the damage while it's up, but if the enemy destroys it, it, like, explodes like a nuke. All the damage that it's <laughs> it blows up all that damage back to everybody. So if you're in a fight, it soaks a bunch of boom, it just destroys your team. That's a true pact. You know? I would like Pacts that. That is bad. a pact. You're right. It's a pact with a devil. Oh, how yeah, about like, Venge oh, goes the Wraith Pact? Let me die. She don't swaps let me herself die. in with her like uh, bonus resistance for using swap, and then drops the Wraith Pact for like a hundred percent immunity to all damage. Yeah. Just okay, becomes I'm the not... immortal frontliner of Vengeful Spirit. I'm not gonna lie to you. The Wraith Pact on Venge is not off because uh, you already want to get a Vlad's because it works if you happen to get an Ags. Uh, it's true. still an aura. So it's not that far off. I yeah. mean, I have run a uh, Vengeful Spirit with just a fair lens rate pact, and let me tell you, I have lost those games, but I'm not in games <laughs> like that. <laughs> so it's possible, it's not probable. It's possible. Let me tell you, if you're a Venge with an Ags and a Wraith Pact, you should have won 10 minutes ago. But uh, that's where we're at. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to game number one of two. series number two. <laughs> game number one of series number two. Ah, these game one the, of series two, Are these yes. the same guys? No, no. these are, these are okay. different lands. It's a best of one. Best of one, of course, here at the Pyrian Flax, whatever he calls it. Very excited here to see these teams. Mostly excited to see what lanes they're going to, because this is like it's a Sumerian BS. mystery. It's, okay, look, they're giving is... it away. It's mid-BS. Oh, it's a gyro away. pango because gyro pango started heading this way at the start then we pang uh bloodseeker headed to the mid and am and venge headed top like it's just they just gave it away that's just it is what it yep. is now it, it's going to be tide snap and it's going to be pa on dying i guarantee bad. you sound very upset by this in a way uh, i'm no, just I'm dying has uh, gone for the the most exciting support build of six mangoes three iron branch wow 
That is Absolutely it. That devoted is it. Like, to the new life. Yeah. That is it. That is a trick that I was taught by a mortal fate. Uh, immortal, whatever. Say, face. Immortal face. Yeah. As face. I like to call him. Immortal face. <laughs> immortal face. The battle begins. Very strong guy. All right, we're gonna see a little skirmish here. Noah Bloodseeker choosing not to put any skills for that moment. Uh, very impressive stuff there. Full dedication. And he's gonna go with level one thirst. Now, you might not have seen this before in your games. That's the end of that comment. <laughs> and, uh, here we go. Pretty remarkable. Remarkable. So, a week before last, we had another Bloodseeker picked. And they ran it POS5 Bloodseeker with a POS1 carry Pudge. The Bloodseeker yeah. went no boots, Ags, activated the Blood Mist, and then Pudge ate him with Pudge's Shard. And then he walks around with Rot on, doing like a thousand damage a second. They lost because it was a terrible yeah. strap, but for like two minutes, it was really funny. It was scary. We it was terrifying. Is, we didn't know how bad it was going to be. No one knew what was going to happen yeah. when it when it finally <laughs> called together, and they just they just ended up fucking losing because they had a Pudge Pos one with a Pos five Bloodseeker permanently inside him. Um, but my God, the geniuses that that they can come up with in these games sometimes. Truly incredible stuff there. That that shining moment of maybe we could win this before the harsh reality uh, comes <laughs> in is is truly a moment that many live for. It Not was me. Just such sadness every time Pudge died in this. Bootsless Ags only Bloodseeker popped out of him with nothing, <laughs> nothing to do. Like a Joey and a kangaroo, you know? And yeah, the exactly. Mala is just down there, it's terrifying. Uh, very easy first blood here coming out from Roaming Hitbox. So, Roaming Hitbox has 20 strength stolen from Decay, uh, and Zalapa was on one bar, and Panga was on one bar for a long time there, and they just sort of put up with it. It's fascinating. It is terrifying uh, when you see this Mango Man come into lane. Uh, very strong lane. Typically PA, not a great laner, especially against a lineup like this. Oh. Wow! Oh, no oh shit, son! Let's go! Roaming hitbox is fucking owning. He's gonna kill him again. Oh, oh my god, god, he's gonna do the walk they get him. Oh wow, my god. god! GG, call it! Call it! He I would, I would taunt there too. Here comes Gyro. Kill this motherfucker! <laughs> How many mangoes does he have left? Still got two more to go. He's got plenty left in him. I mean, at this point, you just buy nine more mangoes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Why uh, stop now? F it. Get the man. Uh, this is awful for Dire Team. I mean, uh, good, you know. Good spot. This is why, you look, just, this is why oh. I invited you, bud, because you've got that knowledge. This is bad for Dire Team. He's right, chat. No, just Pay finish. attention to Shut this up. man. <laughs> Let me finish here. These are two very strong laners. They, they should not have lost their lane, and uh, this is not good. You think, you, so I'm dying. Like, you think Pango's a strong laner? Huh? I, with a mixed up damage like Gyro, he potentially can be. They're both mm. glass cannons. Right? Uh, that's my issue, yeah. Is that he has to go yeah. in melee against these two. You're right. That, that's what makes it fucking suck. But if he's, uh, let's say he was up against any heroes with any kind of ranged poke. If you look at Pango, he's got 600 health and 300 mana. If he uses his, both of his spells, he has the half his mana is gone <laughs> it, from it two spells. It, I just think it, it's rough for him. It is. Uh, but, uh, you know, that uh, PA is also traditionally not a great laner that. as well. But she got so, an Undying, uh, baby! That's right! Undying, the best laner in the entire game. Shout out to Still No Patch. As uh, this continues until eventually uh, we all stop playing this game. I don't believe there will be another patch. Ever. Uh, Ice, Fro Ice Frog has messaged me and he said, done. LOL. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know what to tell you. This is it. Yeah, Enjoy you guys might have missed the Dota 2 blog post where they said uh, Dota is now finished, it's now in 1.0. You can see the game is complete. Good luck. <laughs> Perfect. I Best think... of luck, Wraith Pact is great. I think uh, Elon Musk got Valve actually and announced that he'd laid off the entire Dota 2 team. Uh, and now, now that's how it goes. I mean, legitimately, that would be hype. TF2 <laughs> would be back. The man economy yeah. would arise with Musk's ownership. Uh, please save us. Elon. <laughs> As we now see top lane, we're gonna have no mana on the side on her, and the anti mage is going to town with those slows. Ooh, nice shot! Nice. You're nice actually gonna stop chasing. Dive that tower, young man. Dive that tower, young man, or lose all my respect. Oh my god, am I upset right now? They killed the gyro, okay. and they're gonna kill Action Dan again as well. 
Yo, real talk, actually, GG. The <laughs> AA is a coward. The bottom lane is dumb. They didn't get okay, they are now diving. They now, diving. Alex, is oh, Twaffle, you twit. You absolutely could have killed him. Oh, no. Missed the shotgun. Didn't even, didn't use, didn't use, didn't, just didn't shotgun him. I'm a lobbler, I'm a lobbler. I'm a lobbler. Zebu. 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 Alright, now, however, there is always room for a comeback in this kind of MMR. Of course, potentially, a PA does not know what a BKB is. If she does not buy one this game, she will lose. She will get so it. That BKB. could happen. They kill the Bloodseeker. <laughs> oh my god! Johnny Boy Bonnie lives Joy's on winning mid lane. Health. And he tips him! What a cup! Oh, oh, Johnny! Oh, He's wow, in his head! Incredible. So, the what? I guess if you're, if you're really huffing on the copium for Dyer. It's undying with all the kills, right? He's five and zero. Oh, uh, PA is 0-0 oh, oh, and four. So it could be it could be worse if you're chain feeding in the bot lane. Yeah. But this being is, oh, he actually just bought more mangoes. He bought five more mangoes. That was a joke. He is clearly stream sniping. Yeah, no, they uh, do. That, they do. That is not a good idea. No. Uh, but anyway, I agree with you, Mr. Plague. I agree with you. Uh, it is a completely free lane for the PA, as we learned last time. That is not good. PA <laughs> That's true. You're right. It's going to stick in with your theory if he's now going to go absolutely <laughs> bananas mad. Yes, he's going to go for first item, Deso, die five Radiant's times, and the game will end. So uh, this will be rough. Mark my words. The lane was too easy. That's, uh, that's where we're at here. Prawn out of mana again. Seems a truly sad life lane against AM. I'm glad this hero is utterly wank. Um, do you know, I've, I've, I've been seeing Dubu, this, this annoying uh, bastard at the top of Immortal, playing POS5 Ricky every single game. Mm. And I'm just waiting for that to trickle down to us and make our lives hell. This, the sleep dart spell seems crazily strong. So, you're just like a cross map instant stun. Oh my god, Bonnie Joy goes in. He's got the redo running. Bonnie Joy Bonnie is absolutely bonkers using the creep. He's got Soul Ring. Bonnie, you're out of mana, young man. Soul Ring. Oh! He got it! Yes! Oh! is going to give him the gun down. Clickety click. Gyro desperately needed these kills. Woo! Thank you. So uh, I'd like All to right. point out that Bomby B is nearly level six, and Dan just hit level four. That's how this mm. lane has gone. However, I would like to sadly point out something else. Uh, despite Undying have five kills, he is the same level as Action Dan here as yeah. the Pango. Yeah, he, so, he he did just hit five, but yeah, it is. That was weird like that. Like he's got five kills. Dan had to walk back to lane. Uh, yep. I, don't, I don't know how I'm dying. It's only just level 5. It's, uh, it's a weird one. Oh, it's, here, Storm is uh, rotate top here. He's going to get Retro Frog. Gets Retro Frog. Alex is a wah. He's a wah. A lot of damage coming out and the bottom as well. But Action Dan, he is doing the smart thing. He is not letting this get to his head. PA now level 6. Very strong. And that will be an issue. I think there's something to be said for the... You know, when they're on the, the hero they specialize on, they've oh. probably been in way lanes like as it. bad as this they or worse. They're going for it. There's a tombstone. They are diving. Yeah, to get the slow on down. Oh, he's correcting. taking a lot of damage. Killing Here comes Retro Frog. Frog. There's a DD Bloodseeker. Woo! Oh my god, you right. <laughs> actually happened. And there it is. As I can tell you a thousand times, you do not want to win your lane that hard. The PA will dive the tower into five and instantly <laughs> kill herself despite being two levels up. Which will then feed the losing mid Bloodseeker, who is now almost the same be. level as the Dawnstirring Storm Spirit. The game has ended, ladies and gentlemen. It's over. Dire win. Very sad for Undying. Did too I, well. I, I don't. I specifically don't put the names of people I'm working with in the stream title because I don't want people to feel like I'm using their name to advertise my stream. That's you know why, what? Myers. Do it. No, do it. I, I don't do it. like doing do it. that. It, it feels shady. Like, you I, would get I, less I invited viewers. you because you're a mate of mine, not because you're Sir Action Slacks, Dota Royalty. I think you didn't put it in there because you knew less people would watch. <laughs> so, uh, I think of the opposite. Slacks? Shut off. I mean, I hate gamers. that guy. Why isn't Beacon there? No, I hate that guy, actually. Anyway.
Has Purge uh, ever done these? I feel like he per can't be bothered, really. Yeah, I don't think he said he can't be bothered. I don't want to put him through that. Oh, he, I'm sure he suffered through worse. He's the, the king of casting bad Dota. That's true, but the thing is with Kev is, we can make fun of these guys. Kev is too nice. He doesn't make fun of people. That's He's true. Like, uh, I think what they should have built here was blah, blah, blah. It's like, all right, Kev. Make fun of them. Make fun That's of not, them. Yeah, we're not here for progressive learning. We okay? gave we're up here on for that. insults. We gave up on that year one. <laughs> Initially, it was like, I'll, 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 here's what we'll do. We'll cast the games. We'll get some, some lads in who are nice much higher job, in Marvel than you, and uh, you know, they'll give you some tips, and people are like, yeah, that sounds good, months. I want to improve at Dota. And then they just stop, never listen, so we just stop trying. And now, it's just it's just mockery. Johnny Boy thinks he's so clever here, he's going to jump this AM. <laughs> Where's his actual hero? Uh oh, oh it's I'm there dying. as well. I'm dying dead in the bottom lane as well, all that XP they going go. the other way. He gets stuck. Johnny up top. They don't have Ravage. Kind of need Ravage the there for that to work. He's, he's like 10 XP off of 6. I mean, he again, a, again, yeah, go, he going matter, to yeah. the core of, please lads, just wait. Like, just wait a little bit. Dan gets his ult. They might get Timorous Prawn here. Bonk? They oh, just the might. They get him. Here's Bloodseeker looking for Johnny Boy. Johnny Boy is low on mana. There's enough to zip away. Twaffle has spells. Misses, oh, misses the shot. Give the oh, missed again. Oh, what the misses everything. There goes the stun. Oh, they no. get the storm. Oh, the AM no. comes back in. Retro Frog. They're focusing the Venge. Kill the Venge. They get the Venge. The A is right here and ready to fight. They get the tombstone. Madge is very slow here. Madge is gonna Madge die. Is dead to an no. undying. He's not respecting this. Undying is six, one, and two. You cannot fight this man. <laughs> tower is under attack. Now, Undying unfortunately has made another critical well. error. He is still buying support items. You have, you are the carry. Now. I, I am so sad to inform Radiant's you, but you have six kills. The tie for supporting is over. PA should be buying wards. It's over, <laughs> homie. You get uh, yourself a uh, a shard. And you get a blade mail, and you are the big boy now. It's over. PA will not come back into this game. She's crazy. She's got the bloodlust. Up to you. But we'll see how that turns out. My Twelve uh, minutes in, she's still going battle fury. She's only got one part of it, Slack. How do you feel about this? We get As the I rupture on Bummy B. Blood drunk. He is just kind of dead, huh? Oh my god. Nice oh, nice heal off. coming out from Undying. Where's the swap from Venge? While she's still bloody. Oh no, Venge. A little late on that swap. <laughs> oh no. They might still kill people. Oh my god, I think they're gonna get a few people here. Gyro is trying to kill this Undying. They get him. Can they get any more? Johnny walks right back into that. He's got no mana. Goes on Zalapa. There's no mana on action Dan either though. Johnny Boy goes down. Zalapa goes down. Bobby B is getting in on Dan. Dan, no mana. Dead. They get Ooh. four for two. I am not Ooh. interested. Ooh. Alex Radiant's probably should have come for that, but he's got his Battle Fury now, so that's all he gives a shit about. That's true. Be it that is true. We got the Battle Fury on the AM. Life gets stronger. Life gets better. Very cool stuff there coming out from the Gyrocopter. Almost got a lot of kills, just yeah. a little bit more HP. Uh, but if you're a carry or, a, or, or or even a mid gyro, there it's cleanup time. But of course, oh yeah, I feel like gyros sometimes you think I've got all these spells. I'm a gyrocopter. I'll kill them all. But remembering you're a post five gyro who died four times in lane, three times in lane. Sorry, so probably you should I mean, just gyro... chill a little bit. He straight up does not exist until he gets his Agnum Shard. Mm -hmm. uh, this man needs a Shard real fast. Also, Veil, that's an item I haven't seen in a long time. We'll see yeah, they're kind of going all in on the magic damage for the moment. Uh, Bloodseek yeah. is going Dagon as well. Oh, the dodge uh, from Johnny. Unnecessary, but I like it. Very cool. It's just, you know, warming up. Okay, Bloodseeker actually <laughs> is buying a Dagon. Uh, that is reportable offense right there. Anybody in the Overwatch community will put this guy in low priority for rushing Dagon. Timur is born in trouble. Dan comes in with the roll. He's going to get him. Can they get Johnny Boy? He's out of mana. He's in big trouble. They might lose Zalapa here, but there's a silence coming in from the Rupture as well. 
Oh, they're gonna get three. Three for two. They lost two supports. They got the core and they got the mid. This whole mess is all your fault. I don't think. I don't know if they can actually fight this undying. To be brutally honest. Yeah, no, I, I <laughs> he's a, he's a god of death. He is the <laughs> god of go, death baby. right now. Oh my god, Dan, look out. <laughs> They can't approach them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he doesn't even have race packed oh, yet. My. He doesn't even have race packed yet. The oh, question is... does. It, oh, it's no, he's going Saxon's... Greaves, lads. No, no Greaves, oh, please. Oh, You've God. got to go shard. Go shard and slap. All right? You're not a support anymore. You're too big to fail. He's an American bank. He has to go. Oh. Oh, the oh, hell! Oh, oh, oh my enormous. god. Roaming hitbox MVP, regardless. <laughs> I do, I, I think Snax is still absolutely spot on. Like, why was Bommy B in that fight in the first place? <laughs> He's like two thirds of the way to a battle fury and the PA is just in the enemy jungle dying and fighting 5v5. Why, why is he there? He's just got the bloodlust. He's shit-faced. He's <laughs> shit-faced shit with shit blood. Face. It's over. It's over. <laughs> They're gonna kill. Man's gonna be going down. Oh, the power! Oh, the mass attack! There's, There's no. not much mana. Run, Bommy! Ooh, do we have an ult? We do have an ult. Bazamba! Wow. Oh. Oh, they can rock it off. Oh, he's got it. He doesn't have mana. He's got mana for. He doesn't have mana for zip. Oh, he does have a soul ring in five seconds. He's getting healed again. Nope. All right, no ulti on undying this time. He will actually die. Oh my! There you go. There you go. Fight recap. Well, that's the that's not the right fight recap. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Uh, not okay. to worry, guys. Not to worry. Good old okay. fight recap. You know, shout out to Dota. <laughs> A team of multi-millionaires working on this game from their multi-billion-dollar company and. It's just perfect. Everything just. You didn't want to see that that shield crash information. You didn't care about that. <laughs> Pretty cool. So real. Pretty cool. Hey, it's still better than League, baby. They don't even have oh, fight recap over there. Oh, I give you that, mate. Hands down. Look, still better. Well, all right. Well, Anthony Mage has had significant space. He but does have his battle fury. I would suggest get bigger, getting bigger. punched in the stomach is better than getting kicked in the balls. It still hurts. Sure. He goes down. He wants some action here. He's trying to try and go on Timorous Prawn. They chose him as tankiest lad in the universe. It's just so much goddamn damage. They get him with the goon. Oh, as I'm telling you, they gone. They gone plus the. They got the veil on Gyro. Once they get some BKBs, the Battle Fury is almost online. On PA, it's only yep. 17 minutes. Don't worry, yeah. my friend. Arm will be expedited. The BKB, I'm sure, is the next item. There it is. BKB is the next item. No Dessa. Very hyped. So PA's gonna just jump in and with a BKB and not do much damage and then die. That's correct, period. She's doing Unless she farmed. She She's might just farm that Dessa. She needs Could that happen. Dessa. She needs to get that. Uh, she needs to get the uh, the Dessa. Uh, the Dire okay. team is starting to starting to feel themselves a little bit here. They're they're all about it now. Gonna Storm go get Spirit gonna be. Storm's thinking about a uh, an orchid. Oh. Oh, late. oh, oh my! Radiance middle tower is under attack. Bounty. Probably probably one of the best items I think you can get, but um, it's pretty late. Yeah, you only. Late. It's like when you play Storm against AM. If you go for this orchid first and catch him before Manta, that's amazing. You might have quite a strong timing to hunt him down, but. You're going. If you're having a slow game, you're going witch blade things like that. There's no point going manta. He's gonna uh, going orchid. Sorry, he's gonna have manta at the same time you finish this orchid. So it's pointless. Oh, yeah, Just get the go BKB Ags or something. You know, be the team fight god. Yes, that I can agree with. Go for the Ags. Get Ags a nice so black good, hole. Could be good. This is Dagon two now. Dagon three gonna fly out very shortly. Oh no! Oh no! I'm dying when <laughs> holy locket. Oh no! Yeah. Holy locket God into Greaves, almighty. dude. Oh, it's Seven, over. three, and eight. Was like six and one at one point. Oh, buddy. His strength taken. He he has nothing anymore except for a heel slave, and that is just not what you could have been. A Giga Chad. If you only believed in yourself. Big Boy Philly is out. All right, all right. We're back in the game.
Big boy Philly for Team Radiant. The passive gold. This is good. Big, Very big exciting. Philly. I call it yeah, the, the, the money ball. ball. I call it the money Sure. The money ball. Big boy Philly. Oh, okay. oh hello. Twaffle? Dead. Oh my god. There is there is quite a lot to be said for this four man roaming gank squad with a Dagon three and a veil. I don't think yep. anything Radiant have can stand up for at the moment because their Wraith Pact is is slow. It is slow. Timorous Prawn is almost less net worth than the Gyrocopter on this position three tide. So if, and, if you look at the way the lads farm, hit hit those, hit hit them, hit hit those. Where are you going, Prawn? This is all time you could have spent. Hitting crit- No, no, stand still! No, don't go back! Wow. If he walks past them again, it'll be such a- He's gonna Is he gonna go for him? He's gonna hit them this time. He's going for it. Stream there start. you go. <laughs> but he was gonna walk all this way to join a lost fight. But you think about how terrible Pango's lane was. Like, it was- It was so bad. And now, complete reversal of fortunes. He's almost- a K and a half ahead of Tide? What has no. this, this Tide done? Why is has there been a single <laughs> Ravage yet? Why is he putting Jesus. his salve and his, Relax. his manga? What's going on? Oh, they were from the shovel. He's <laughs> just... He's just... <laughs> he's staring at it. He's really giving it a good look. You fucking mango bastard. Unbelievable. <laughs> Gracious oh. me. Alright, well, the tower is going to be going down bot most likely, but I do bring your attention to PA. She is, is getting attack. closer to that BKB. Uh, and then maybe they have a shot at doing something in this game. It will be rough, as we said, she does not have any damage, but... High ground defense, let's talk about that. You got Undying Tombstone, Ravage, Storm Spirit, buying you some time, zipping in. Looking not horrible. Sure. Uh, for that high ground defense. I mean, I don't. Have we seen a snap ult yet? I don't even remember seeing it used. Once. I don't believe so. I don't believe snap so. Snapfire has not ulted yet, but you know what? No good opportunities, except for every team fight. But I was trying to get a cookie it. off, and then I died. That's the standard goon snapfire. What can you do? Like level one, each glob does 160 damage and slows them. And you get eight yeah. of them in an yeah. AOE. It's a lot of damage. You got Ravage and shit. Woo! Woo! Well, Trample's not going to get the chance of this one either. Oh, Ravage. Okay. And here comes Snapfire Rolls. Snapfire Rolls doing some shit. Oh, uh, they're all dead. Four seconds, three seconds on the day gone. I think Trample's going to explode. Yep. Woo! Such okay. Well, they lost Avenge for that. Well, luckily for them, PA did TP and run <laughs> into their entire team and kill themselves. <laughs> oh, so, PA uh, died. No, PA. Yeah. She was about a hundred gold away from the BKB. No. Oh. Is now delayed again, as uh, they only lose the support bench. Uh, By the way, just good. going back, I think the reason Radiant's he took the first is because that's attack. how you get the. Regen from killing shit, right? Like, I think yeah, that's how But doesn't the Blood Rage give you more damage? Am I wrong? Yeah. It gives you more attack speed. Um, and it gives... I think it gives you a little oh, bit of damage, John. but it costs you, costs you health, right? Oh, oh my! Look at right. that tide melting! Holy you killed the post three! Oh, oh, rupture down. I just... I don't coming. think you're going back in on this. You know, just... Just time to leave. So Venge has her shard, the bouncing magic missile, the most frustrating thing in Dota because you never expect it to hit you and it always fucking does. It's obnoxious. Um, <laughs> but Radiant closing in on the Wraith Pact, and I, I'm still sticking by my prediction that Wraith Pact wins every game, regardless of how terrible it looks in every other aspect. Agreed. It is very good. However, with the update, look at the warding situation again. Who buys as many sentries? What the hell's wrong with your fan base? What have you done to these people? Look at this. <laughs> what have you beaten into them? This is unbelievable. I don't see this amount of warding Would in a Would you rather see game. wards or no wards? I mean, I don't know at this point. This is incredible. You are it's truly obsessive a god streamer. 
Oh, he's gonna kill him. Johnny boy. And they're gonna kill Zalapur off as well. This is the BKB reveal. Oh, the swap. Not a horrible swap. Here we go. BKB is down now for that PA. She will be going back in. I think in. PA might be going too far here. Yeah. Whoa! It's some okay heals. The miss is the match. Oh, the. Oh. Ouchie. Oh, the revenge! Click him! Click him! This is a feast moment right here. Look at Bloodseeker. <laughs> wow. Wow. Messi. All that for an AM Messi. kill. That Ravage was, uh, I don't know what he was waiting for, but God bless. That was a really cool moment to watch. It was like an action movie with uh, the zero HP guys running away. Maybe he did it on purpose just for cinematic quality, yeah. but just oh, absolute shit. dog shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Here comes the, uh, the here comes the very late Orchid. That's AM okay, has you know Manta. What? He can't it's go on AM with AM. this. Well, AM somehow died in last fight. I'm still not given there was no Orchid. I'm still not sure how that happened. So he might be able to catch him out. You know, Johnny See, doesn't even have the Kaya. I thought that was. Cool. I reckon Alex is a big fan of Mantas for farming. Okay, mm. you're gonna see him just pop Mantas all over the shop. Never have it up when he needs it. Right. I'm the same. All right, you know, you just think about that efficiency, and then sometimes you die, and that's the trade-off, the life you live. Oh my god, the fucking Dagon damage. So he's got a Kaya now, and he's going for E-Blades. So there will be no BKB, right? That that's your that's your hope. Like I've never seen something like that in my life. That Radiance boy melted. Holy guacamole. Sorry, who's got the Kaya? Uh, Bloodseeker, going for the E-Blade. Oh, has he? Oh, wow. The magic damage is pretty disgusting. Well, there's no BKB Sickening, on Storm for some time. Obviously there True. isn't one on Undying, there isn't one on Twaffle, and there isn't one on Tide, so... Wraith Pack to be guys. damned. That is I a lot of damage. News. What? PA has a Basher queued up instead of a Deso. Mm. Uh, not quite sure when that will come through. I guess bashing AM is the plan? Yeah, you bash um, him, and then he blinks away because you do no damage, I'm gonna guess. I can, I can understand that you're not feeling like... You're not feeling like you're going to be able to follow them, right? Because you're always going to be ruptured. So I can understand sort of the logic of bash them next to you when you're ruptured, but I think you just one-shot this Venge with Odessa, right? And probably the same for Pango. Slightly. Um, uh, a, a casual, if she doesn't upgrade it all the way, a casual lucky bash. Casual bash, bash yeah. <laughs> I just Could think Odessa is, is too good. Well, of course it is, Fury. Right. We're, <laughs> we're pretending. Okay. It's a friendly. No, I like that. All right. I love the Point mix of items. Is... The tide's gone. Wraith Pact is done on Tide mm, when he well, can make oh, his way over to a secret shop. He's got the recipe. He's got the recipe oh, first. Oh, he's he's got to have his team guard, guard him as he gets to the Does, secret shop. He also shop. needs is... the cloak, the ring of regen, and the point booster, right? Like those those are all things you I need. I think those are for his Radiant's upcoming pipe. Tower. I think oh, everything Wraith okay. Pact is done here. Oh Lord in heaven. Imagine getting Look, they, he's what he studied pipe. his tundra replays. Okay, he's gonna go pipe and then uh, whatever the fuck it's called, Mad Mage Slayer. They're gonna smoke. Oh, go on, Timorous Prawn. You gotta, you gotta smoke get into right the under, shop. right under this ward. Smoke. Right. Why is he not just walking in there and buying this fucking wraith pact? What is what is he doing? He's scared. He's gotta he smoke afraid. up, dude. We gotta smoke up. That means it's he... right there. Yeah, but you gotta it's smoke right up. It's right here, Ted. He can just yeah, walk yeah, there. Yeah, but you gotta smoke up, dude. Oh, he's going for it. Phase boots yeah. activated for the boost boots. Yes! He's got it. Listen, Game Blake, over. when someone says let's smoke up, your brain oh. stops. <laughs> <laughs> and then they say, oh, let me get it out of my backpack, or I just have one floating out. Here oh, we go, so smoke it, smoke! The end is revealed. He's under a sentry, they see him. They dump nice. it all! The oh, swamp! The, the Dano comes in! Oh my god, that's huge. Alright, two for one at the moment. Can they get any more? They got a Johnny Boy pretty low. Don't think this Matt needs to be careful. Here it's goes the jump. Oh no. oh no! Oh no! Oh my god! You know what? I gotta say, this is a pretty good spell. The old Mortimer's kisses, but uh, you know, Twaffle, <laughs> <laughs> Twaffle just not a not a caster of spells. Just never uses it. I don't know what's quite going on there. That was a disgusting first hit bash from the anti-mage. Absolutely vile. Vile stuff there. 
uh, coming out on a storm spirit who uh, just went a little too far. But yeah, uh, these Mortimer's Kisses would be real good with just a five-man Ravage. You get a five-man Ravage, you know, uh, everybody's slowed because of the undying zombies, and then they're slowed even more because of Mortimer's Kisses. I'm just, just, I'm just spitballing here, guys, but I think it'll be pretty good to cast your fucking guys. spells, Twaffle! Guys, PA is definitely listening to the stream. Canceled the basher, went for the deso. Yeah, fucking We're in. packs. We're in. Bomby, you're banned from next in. week, mate. No offense. <laughs> She's we are also... in straight up, bought the Deso, made it to that fight, and started dominating. This could be good. Now let's help the other team. All right, let's 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 talk about what they need. Uh, AM That's... needs... Is there anyone... Yeah, he's good. I mean, AM's just very large, so... Should be fine. They're going to try and do Roche here. I mean, Ravage the Bloodseeker is finally going back for a BKB after completing every bit of damage he'd ever need. Um, double damage on revealed on AM. Time to run. I, I wish play. Bomi would use the last of his mana to try and dodge a rocket just once. Just once, I want to see it. He dodges the rocket, uses the last of his mana, and then they jump him, and he's got nowhere to get away. They're going to smoke so again just... here. Again, under vision, they're going to smoke. Under vision. But look at this sentry. Why is it not covering all three? That's just, just a tiny little bit to the left, and it'd be perfect. Oh, You'd cover God. all three cliffs, and it's just on the edge. Yeah. That's, uh, that's as bad as it gets. So two smokes on, on Venge as well for Retrofrog. So Dyer have the option to smoke if they need to. Roche, available for both teams. Radiant, much better at taking it and probably much better at using it. Get it on a Storm, he can go ham. Uh -huh. um, but they need to win a team fight first. Need to, to finish this Bloodseeker off or not have a Venge swap come out, something like that. Or use Mortimer's Kisses. That could work as well. I'm just thinking, I mean, I'm, I'm you know, I'm just saying, I, I feel like... A hero's ultimate ability is probably a pretty good one, um, <laughs> and I think if you used it, it might make it might help. That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying it's definitely going to win the fight one or the other. I'm just saying it can't hurt. Dyer are going to get Roche for free. They are. They saw them up there, and then they just thought, ah, they're going to do Roche. Here comes Johnny with a foolish play. He doesn't have a slot uh, for he's it. He's not got the slot ready. The doesn't go for it. Okay. It's very good. Very good with the Aegis. That's a big deal. PA, she's got to fully commit now with the Aegis. She fully commits and then she has an opportunity to die post BKB usage. Who's so, that? I like how this, one this is the Bloodseeker with the Aegis now. Oh. Able to survive potentially a big PA BKB initiation. True that. True that. However, the high ground is good on Radiant, as we talked about. It is a strong high ground with Tombstone, uh, Ravage, if oh. they actually commit. Oh. Guessing that uh, Snapfire would eventually <laughs> Johnny use the half his health. There's Such a, heal, a right? dick oh, move. Wow. <laughs> Just walk in, dig on him for no reason, and walk away again. It's provoking fear. They have to be terrified of every he dark section of the map him, now. Did yeah, didn't even bother e-blading. Just dig on and walks away. All right, now, uh, helping out Dyer a little bit, as uh, clearly there is a stream sniper on Radiant, they don't have a lot against split pushing, I will say that. Should Animage just decide to start hitting that bottom tower and they have to commit big spells to killing them, they will get wiped as the rest of the team comes in. So uh, a nice split push strat from Dyer would certainly be very painful for Radiant to have to deal with, which uh, we might be seeing coming out. In probably uh, about a 30 seconds time. <laughs> uh, 30 seconds when they hear that. So uh, <laughs> just evening out, my friends. Animage is quite large. He does have the, the has mind eight breaker. last hits, by the way. Dyer's middle tower. Venge has eight last hits, you say? Eight. I don't wow. even know how that's possible. I think you know, Venge so is the dying central buyer. ten. Because if you Whoa. if you click on Venge's inventory, she has genuinely nothing. Like yeah, but seriously, saying, not a single item. You could probably nice job, Alistair. hit some fucking creeps. Make food from time to time. Just time. In a thing, you're too busy game. placing a thousand sentries. That takes time, you know. Walking all over the map, centering the place. It's a lot of effort. Undying has probably hit enemy heroes more than creeps about 3x. I will Agreed. say. Uh, yeah. Incredible stuff. So PA going for the Satanic now. I'm not a fan of PA Satanic with her new lifesteal on W. Mm. I'm, I'm a big fan of the uh, Ag Shard build. You know, kill one person and start rolling through the team fight. But I can understand why when you're feeling like you're getting ruptured, being able to Satanic on top of your lifesteal and go in so you don't have to care about the damage you take on jump. Mm. 
does make some sense. But at the same time, yep. why not just get a fucking Lincolns, you know? The, your entire problem in this game is rupture. Lincolns would help you out quite a bit. Body yeah, Joy almost dying? Yeah, a lot of heroes will almost die. But that's the problem, right? It's almost die. Yeah. It's not one shot anymore. So they are scaling away from Bloodseeker's Dagon build, bit by bit. Uh, this is unfortunate. PA able to stop that split push ability by pushing out herself. Uh, Animage, great team fighter right now, I have to say, <laughs> but they don't want to commit to a team fight. They have giant spells. You want them to use giant spells and get the hell out of there and then take objectives. They cannot stop you in more than one lane, but uh, they're going to commit here. Full five minute one lane. Very sad. As we'll get that it's, the, it's the standoff. Wow. Oh, oh shit! Period, your dream almost happened. <laughs> so how do Radiant want to take this fight? Do you just try and kill Bloodseeker with as cheaply as possible? Oh, AM's gone in, starting the fight for them. This is how you want to take it. AM blinking into the tower, and then you kill him. He's got no Aegis. He's just dead. <laughs> uh, they lost AM and they lost Venge. The gods goes yeah, out. Gyro. <laughs> Mad, oh, wants the, the fight. Right still. Oh, it's so close. Oh, they've used their only stun. There's no BKB on Bloodseeker, so he will just die. Cool Lama one just for seven months. AM really kind of just went for it, you know? Really just like went for it. playing with Luke earlier. Yeah, it oh, just no. ended up inside their entire team. You know, sometimes uh, this is something that happens in low MMR. I call it the impatient lemming. A <laughs> lemming just sits by a cliff for a few hours just thinking, and then eventually he will jump off. He just doesn't. <laughs> there's no other thing. He, he knows that eventually he has to go, so he just does it. And it's so sad, because you can see the timer running off in their heads that says, <laughs> I must do something, right? So I'll kill myself. I mean, that's it. I, it's it's a sad thing to see, but it's true. And you just see it all the time. A hard carry standing on the low ground. He goes, well, time's up. I have to kill myself. And there he goes. <laughs> Shout okay. out to Luke. That literally happened in our game this morning. He was AM. We were down on the low ground. We were chilling. I was OD. I was just trying to rack up some int, chilling. He just blinks him. Just goes up there. Exactly the it's same. It's always looked like it has zero communication, right? It, yeah, he's I, like, I love that too. Hey, it's just in. Some guy like has been talking nonstop on the mic, and then there's <laughs> just so, the darkness. It takes a hold of them, and they just silently blink uphill and kill themselves. <laughs> it's incredible to watch. I really want to write a documentary about the darkness that takes your hard carry, you know. So, so Har Monster says that's why these games need to be Amazing called because they don't know how to push. Around. So, if they just called it when they got down 6k, every game would end after the laning stage. Like, it, it's no good. The point is, half the fun is that a team can have a massive lead and blow it because they don't know how to go high ground or they go high ground too early or at the wrong time. I remember, yeah. like I said on the stream this morning, I remember what Alex said to me, Sheepstick said, one of the, like, why are you going high ground? Stop trying to go high ground. It's incredibly hard. It's incredibly dangerous. You lose so many games that way. Don't do it. Just go and fucking hit creeps. Take over the whole fucking map. Keep an eye on them. If they leave base, then you can get back and you can catch them out. And you might win a fight. You you can't go high ground. It's, it's so, so, so hard. They can see you. You can't see them. Just imagine a fight like that. Would you ever start a fight like that normally? And where if they buy back, they are right back in the fight. You're literally yep. in their house. It's so hard. To your viewer in the chat, it does remind me of a interview that Gabe Newell did uh, when they were developing Dota 2. And they asked him, you know, why is there no surrender button? And he said, go play League, you fucking casual. So uh, there you go. That was actually the quote. And that one's uh, for your viewer. So enjoy that. I mean, there is now a surrender button. Yep. Cowardly. Well, I, I you know, love Gabe it. Gaben died a hundred years ago. There are some buttons where, some games where it's over. I don't want to have to waste an hour. Oh, oh my, my god, he just beat There it is. I don't know there why. It is. The lemming. It's it. the, ma the madness. Something about seeing steps does something to these lads. Okay? <laughs> they make them lose their mind. Just the they sight of these lovely steps. Oh, the oh, rush got in. No comms again. Where's the rest comes. of this team? The gods. You know, madness goes both ways. It really does. It really does go both ways. They get retro frog. Bombies out of mana. <laughs> <Doesn't> mana. <laughs> Oh! 
the Alex wants to get back in here. I think he'd be mad to do so. Storm is Storm is low enough mana. He can just blow him up, but it's a bit risky, you know. The darkness hasn't claimed him once again just yet. You know, he got his frustrations out of him on the jump high ground top. True. Yeah. Uh, he's he's like reset his cooldown, but the time is still ticking again. Yep. It's it's kind of like a, for carries this situation's like no nut November, you know? They're like oh. <laughs> they just there comes a point where it's too much. I got a nut. But now that you know it's happened, he's he's back to his normal. He's back. He's ready to play for reals. Again though, you just got to split push. I mean, they cannot kill AM without dedicating their entire team. It's so easy to simply oh. split push. Oh away. shit! Well, he just for a missed gyro. the missed the dodge on the rocket. It actually happened. It just gets a one shot. But... I mean, bomb me and do shit anyway, so whatever. <laughs> I think you know he's actually not playing too bad on on Storm this game. Yeah, but, but he's, you know, he's, it's, he's 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 done it's, some it's Johnny, normal things, which it's, is rare for Johnny. Oh. Is the swap gonna have to come out? No, B can be popped instead. Oh, and swap as well. You know, damage reduction there. Now, finally, we do see AM doing the split push ability here. He he could just hit this build. They do not have a lot in their tank point. But uh, what can he do here? When it says allied swapped units, does that include you? Uh, yes, I believe so. Oh shit! Oh! Okay, Wait, Alex went on the Ancient camp. Oh, did he blink to Bobby the Ancients? Spotted. Yes, he blinked to the Ancients, Alex went on him, bashed him, and blew him the fuck up. AM dead for 75. Roche is up. That's a yikes right there. That is... That's that's one way to lose Roche. Oh no. Oh no. But I don't believe the Radiant team are aware Roche is there. They appear to just be hitting neutral creeps. It's the old 40 minute glimmer oh wait no she suddenly changed her mind because she saw people complaining now she's getting a ghost scepter interesting stream sniping interesting. little shits <laughs> very interesting satanic done on pa going for the shard you know one um, thing i've heard people defend themselves as watch the stream i only have chat open that's the thing they say Oh, that's smart. That's that's very good. Yeah, and definitely. My not favorite cheating. one is I wasn't stream sniping. My friend oh, <laughs> saw that I was in a game with you, so he went to your stream and he told me afterwards to check out the VOD. That's my favorite <laughs> one. Have I yeah, this this also, convoluted uh, thing. That's crazy. Except uh, during the game, you literally answered something that I said. Yeah, <laughs> every good, time. Good. And I placed a warden, you instantly ran over and dewarded it, despite having no vision there. All that kind of shit. All the good shit. My girlfriend, she was watching. She's a supermodel, by the way. And she <laughs> warned me. She's a huge fan of yours. <laughs> oh, oh. Okay. Dan has been... D Dyer has scouted the room. They are aware. Yep. We got a solo pick on AM, and not a single objective was pressured. Yep. Yeah, nothing so really happened. It's yep. just like both teams took a minute break, you yes. know? 75 seconds out. to do something, they didn't check anything. Didn't take a building, no didn't do shit. My god, they oh. oh, they've got the smoke, though. Bonnie Joy, already less than half mana before the fight even starts. <laughs> okay, smoke but coming the, in the, This could be a good jump. Oh, this could be a huge initiation. He's got oh, the gyro! Very nice. Oh, it's it a, a good ravage. Oh, shit! Dan's dead! He didn't cast a spell! Magus, Magus got back in for no reason! Here's Alex, he's on Bonnie Joy! Oh, the Lincolns! Oh, the Lincolns, motherfucker! Where you at? <laughs> Goodness gracious. That was, uh, wild. Uh, you know, your Bloodsickery BKBs, he miraculously survives the initiation. Then he walks back in and tries to date on a full HP pay, uh, PA. I, I'm speechless. I don't quite know what the plan was there. Uh, but what can he do? Age is now on Storm Spirit, of all people. Uh, one of the best Aegis carriers, of course, but mm -hmm. at this point in the game, PA with Aegis. It really should have been, yeah. Team wiped the everyone <laughs> twice. Not a big deal, though. Yeah, but you don't know that it's really good on Storm. Now AM has uh, decided to split push. The uh, the thought has occurred to him, and he will do it as he waits for his teammates 
potentially to uh, defend something. No. No. No, not interested. He does he does need a BKB. Should he yeah, if he yeah. wants to commit to the, the split pushing life for the rest of his life, then fair enough, but should he ever want a team fight, he does need the BKB. He's not gonna do that. But every every AM player believes that the counter spell is enough. You're gonna outplay every single player on the enemy team. Uh -huh. It never works. It never fucking works. <laughs> All right, nice. No buybacks needed. Uh, with a nice defense there. AM is pressuring. Does try to cut the creep wave too. That's so some, very nice. Some smart stuff. That's some good stuff there from the AM. Not a single tower taken, but they still have to contest with that Roshan. AM now building a uh, abysmal, the abysmal blade. That's what I call it when you don't have a BKB, and uh, you buy a goddamn that item. I call it the abysmal ga uh, blade. The Mask of Morons and the Abysmal Blade, the two <laughs> biggest fears that any fucking support could ever have. Pardon my French. Oh, you As can swear see... if you want, mate. You can say support. <laughs> Fantastic. Bomb me big. Pretty big. Abysmal Blade Repacy rep purchased. What else? Is the rest of it flying out too? It is. It it's is. got the whole and schmear. Okay. And On the way to an axe as well. Storm, yeah, Storm Ags, that's a huge item right now. That late game black hole potentially coming in here. Uh, I don't know what happened to our uh, our boy Pangalier. He's only level 22. Well, I don't want to. I don't want to blame the point, but you know what? He doesn't have a wraith pack. That's what happened to him. What's What's he doing wow. in fights? He's just wiggling around the place and doing irrelevant. Nothing. Just stick down a little skull, lad. He polters out, and that's you, you can do a thousand times more effective than any amount of rolling thundering. Do you know what they could do uh, to make Wraith Pact slightly more balanced? Huh. If the Wraith Pact overlaps with another Wraith Pact, they cancel each other out. Wow. But no, that means you always have to fight your Wraith Pact. What a stun! Luckiest stun coming out But it out means there. there's a point to getting it. If you get it first, you might win a big oh. fight. Oh, the swap just gets ready oh. for in big trouble. Oh, oh my god, that's the age is done. But he's ruptured someone that isn't PA, which means PA will now kill everything. Oh no, they gotta get the AM out of there. Oh, oh they don't! AM, no buyback! AM, no buyback! What? It finishes the abysmal blade with no buyback! <laughs> oh, God! My PTSD! <laughs> Unbelievably painful way to lose the game right here. As Gyro will melt, everyone will melt, and there is so just minimal hope. What are you what doing? What is Matt doing? He's <laughs> just running. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's working. He's gonna. No, it's no, it's oh, not. Okay. <laughs> I, I take it back. The funniest part about this abysmal blade is that it was on cooldown as well. He didn't even use it. Oh. Just bought out for it <laughs> and died. Oh. It hurts me so much. No buyback. Oh God! Nice job, Alistair. Calling you fucking idiots! Oh, not a bounce Not back. another one. Oh, oh my God! Bonnie Joy with the all talk. A lot of shivers. damage here now. Oh, oh I guess nice. Heels. Heels. GG cold. He's he told your, your AM is up in 15 seconds. <laughs> ah, but he does not have a BKB, so he can do nothing. And there you have it. Incredible. Incredible game. Well, good try, Bonnie Joy says. God, he's, the, he's so fucking rude. Even the good try feels painful. Good try. Like they were like toddlers to him, you know? He's an idiot. Good try, kids. He's an wow. idiot. That is uh, one of the most incredible games I've ever seen. I can't wait to look at the graph, the win percentage graph on that one. Oh, yeah, that that, lo oh, that yeah, looks but... good. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, that's the Mount Everest of throws right mm. there. That is nice. Look at that. Okay. All right. Well, uh, so if you want take anything away from that game, let me say, uh, don't just blink uphill blind to try to kill <laughs> a Storm Spirit. That is... Uh, I forgot about that. that part. I forgot about the, the that moment. A lot uh, okay. when they had no chance of losing that game. <laughs> <laughs> a lot happened. A lot happened on that one. So, uh, yes, uh, if I may, MVP of that game, 
I must say, uh, that is going to be going to my boy Storm Spirit. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I would give it to Undying, but the Undying uh, depressed me with his support build. A PA just kind of waited long enough for the enemy team to throw and then became a level 25 PA, but uh -huh. Storm, Storm, the toxicity, you really got in their heads. <laughs> you, you put the darkness in them. So well done there. LVP? Uh, gonna have to, you're gonna have to give that to Alex, who was taken by the dark whisperings of the Dota Dark Gods and uh, <laughs> literally threw for no reason. Shout mm -hmm. out to Alex there. Uh, and uh, honorable mention, Snapfire. I believe she did press the ultimate once. Twice. So that is gonna be a two times. Twice. So yeah. That's an honorable mention for you. I would re-tag your R key to the move key so that eventually you will press it eventually. <laughs> uh, it would be better than not whatever you were doing. And then uh, another honorable mention to Vengeful Spirit. Uh, that is the uh, the opposite of the honorable mention who bought 26 wards so that she could see her team lose. <laughs> they, did not have, they did not have an invisible hero. So I don't know what those 26 wards were for. God bless you. You had one at the end screen, too. Uh, how about a Glimmer Cape instead of 26 wards? Uh, thank you so much. It's impressive to have played 48 minutes of Dota and ended up with 6,500 net worth. It's incredible. You've got to put a lot of effort into avoiding money around the map. You know, it's everywhere these days. You can't you can't get away from stuff, but he managed it. GPM He's managed it. 193. She absolutely eloned this one. Uh, she invested <laughs> into the Sentry Ward meta uh, for no reason. Uh, just <laughs> so shout out there. Uh, great game. One of the best games I've ever seen. Mm. Incredible. Well, you've got a treat coming up now, Jake. Okay. Game three, mate. Wow. I can't believe that you guys have the mental capacity to continue with more games, but I am in. <laughs> oh, this is the point where we start to lose it. Okay, fantastic. I'm going to take a very angry uh, bathroom break uh, it. as you guys get this one ready. Yeah, do it. Um, I am furiously... I'm going to pop a colon or something. I uh, hemorrhoid out of the way <laughs> from that one. Dude, we've I got spurred. Dave Yognor and KBJ in this game. You're in for a treat. In for a treat! I'll be back. Well, hello, chat room. Seems you and I are here again. How are you doing on this uh, this lovely Tuesday evening? I don't do entertainment. I'm the analyst, okay? I do the I do the, the high faluting wraith packed analysis. I don't do entertainment. Cringe plague. Fuck you. Oh God, no, I don't I don't do I'm not a content creator, guys. All right, I don't have the I don't have the 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 bug in my brain that makes me want to be funny. I would I would like Wraithback to be banned as an honor system. The item is just stupid. It's just it's just fundamentally beyond broken. Like you look at this fucking uh this bloodseeker running in with an E blade and a Dagon and it does two damage. Two damage. What's the point? What's the point of playing Dota? Oh, we have an absolute corker today. No Dave Yognot, sadly. What? But a Captain Myers? Wait. Captain Myers. Wait. Dave was, Dave was here. What happened? I love how your your like grand exit for Slacks was we've got KBJ and Dave. You ain't seen nothing yet. Neither of them in the game. 
I want him <laughs> to see them. This is unbelievable. I want Dave and I want KBJ. Boot Zoe and NPR and get Dave and KBJ in. Job done. I can't believe this. They were right there. It's game three. We need something. Yes. <laughs> they've got to go and search for them. Like they've got to go, like find a hermit in the wilderness. Dave sitting on his mountain, to in his cave on the mountain top. We, we need those you, goons. We need, we need those you. goons. I've retired, Colonel. I don't do this no more. Kieran, you're an idiot. Myers, ditto. It's only 10 o'clock, Kieran, you fucking melt. And nice job, you're trying Alistair. to set up a fun game three. But if you want to be an idiot just about it, for you can do that. Months. You can do that. Same with you, Myers. A couple of fucking idiots. Nice jump, Alistair. Take the Ming Sheepdog just resubbed for one month. The lads are just the, the fucking enemy of fun, aren't they? They really are the enemy of fun. They fucking hate it. They see the potential for a KBJ Dave off. And what do they do? Oh, we'll just pick two other players. I think they're better than Dave and KBJ. We don't care! Unreal. Whatever. <laughs> KBJ is back in, though. We were able to get in contact with him. The beacons were lit. KBJ responded, but no Robin, no Dave. Oh, we have found Dave. It might all be coming together. And Slack still isn't back from his anger piss. I think he had to anger poo. Ah. Alright, I'm gonna have to unfollow this lady on Twitter, unfortunately. Why? She just tweets too much porn. Right. Funny sometimes. Some funny tweets sometimes. Some good pics sometimes, but then just a dick going in an ass as a gif. Right. Can't be right. having that really popping up on my Twitter. Could be on my phone when I open it. Go get rid of that. <laughs> <laughs> gotta get rid of that. We got KBJ and we got nice Dave. Nice jump, Alistair. Hero protagonist just resubbed for 12 months. <clears throat> this is what I wanted. This is what we all wanted. Did anyone in chat not want to see Dave and KBJ? I don't think so. Myers, I'm gonna have to ban you because you're in the game. Isn't Myers in this game? No, he was he was picked for KBJ. Oh, then this makes it even sweeter. Myers Five kicked. Five seconds remaining. Mmm, so good, so good. Radiant team ban. Oh, why do you guys want to make it more fun? You and Kieran, couple of fucking idiots. <laughs> oh, guys, the live is taking too long. This was at our request. Do you understand the difference? Do you have any brain capacity remaining. left after walking around and breathing? I don't, I doubt it. Five this was to make the game more fun. Who do you think we want to see? Do you think we're queuing up to see you guys? Or do we think we're queuing up to see KBJ and Dave Yognor? Believe me, I want to see those two. Dire team bad. How that loose takes a lot from a man, right? You know, it's an well. intensive game. I don't like. I would rather see this than Myers Warlock over and over and over again for the rest Radiant of my life. Believe me. Ban. Oh, we got a treat for you, bud. All right, what do we got here? Cast your eyes to the bottom of each team. Mm -hmm. You see KBJ. 
I see. And you see Dave Yognot. Mm-hmm. Two of the worst players in the in-houses. Remaining. And that is saying something, but they are just about as bad as it gets. Five but I think... Remaining. I think you'll like them. Okay. A couple of reasons. KBJ has a special award named after him, the KBJ Award, which was initiated because he had a Dying game so back. bad. And this was against new techies, by the way, as Disruptor. That he spent a lot of the time paralyzed with fear, standing stock still, doing nothing. <laughs> and he would walk into a bomb, stop, think for 30 seconds, walk straight into another bomb. Like multiple times. It, it was remarkable. And he's just he's just appalling. Remaining. And Dave Yognaut has, I think he can play, Five oddly enough, he can play remaining. Elder Titan. Isn't that right, Plague? That's like he's an Elder Titan player. But... And occasionally he does good things, but a lot of the time it's just, it's just, it's just awful. Um, so the KBJ award is when someone plays so bad that an LVP is not enough, they get a KBJ. It's, it's three like LVP. Lowest. It's as low as you can go. Wow. It, it is worth the same on the end of year rankings as three LVPs. This is true. Straight into a techies. Putting on a... Slack's I guess it's an insulting show. You don't even want to see this anymore. Yeah, this is effed up, honestly. <laughs> oh my god, they picked techies. They picked techies! Against KBJ, the lore, guys. Ten KBJ Witch Doctor remaining. is as strong as it gets. That's his good. That's his best hero, Five like by far. Remaining. And I guarantee you, he will go to lane with six tangos and six mangos and nothing else. That is what. That is the standard <laughs> KBJ build. Six tangos, six mangos, <laughs> and by the end of the laning stage, he will have used maybe one of the mangos, and then just walk around with them in, until he runs out at some point. <laughs> It's like, you think of it, you saw what Undying did last game, and you're like, oh yeah, six mangoes, this guy must know something, and he'll just still have them. 20 minutes into the game, there'll still be six mangoes, giving him all the health regen he needs. Rubik. Wow, second pick Rubik. Mm. Uh, you, you really don't see that kind of arrogance these days. I do like that. It's just a deny pick. Pick anything, and I'll be better than you. I love that. That is, he's in their heads right now. That is incredible. Really like that. Remaining. Can we get a? I would like a Five Poggers if remaining. you're on Team Dave, and a Coggers if you're on Team KBJ, please. Face the light. Oh, Dawnbreaker. Could be Zoe Rubik. That is cool. I see Poggers and I see Coggers. I see a lot more Coggers than Poggers. But the Coggers are riling in. People who can't Ten seconds use emotes properly are, are still weighing in. Koga and Poggers. K Koga <laughs> and Poggers. <laughs> Koga wow. with a small s. Team Slacks. You can abstain, absolutely. That's your right. Which one was Koggers again? I, I already Brilliant forgot. Koggers? I can't. I don't Dyer give a shit. You can't remember either. <laughs> I don't give a I shit. I think KBJ was Koggers and Dave was Koggers, if I remember <clears> right. <throat> Well, I mean, Rubik can steal Dornalt, which is pretty pog. Rubik stealing Dornalt, that's probably not good. Uh, I'm just saying he can. He heals, he heals his can. team. Yeah, so in what situation uh, it should... When she lands, he steals it immediately? Yeah, or, yeah. yeah oh, I guess okay. you have to do it instantly, right? Because she kind of does like a like the, the Marvel pose, right? She lands, she lands on one knee and then gets up before yeah, being able to cast any other spells. For sure. I see. I like it when they steal the Underlord ult and everybody it's just Ten Portal City. Remaining. It's like playing Portal 2. Five I have never seen that. That is hype. Alright, well, let's see. We got a lot of bands coming out. Zeus OD. I haven't seen OD in a long ass time except for in Dire Tide. God bless for that Next. band. Still available if they want to go for the classic Dawnbreak counter, but then it presumably oh. have to be Techies or Rubik as a core. Or the legendary positive. Or mid. So Dave no. Yognot's Pudge is one of the worst things you'll ever come across. It's uh Oh, isn't that isn't that the classic? The stupidest guy, the worst guy picks Pudge, <laughs> and then everyone else is just trying to figure out how to fucking deal with it like he's gonna do anything. The guy gets one hook and they, he's like oh. It's da oh, Dave Pudge is special because we have to do a hook count for Dave. And some weeks, uh, yeah. like we do how many by 10 minutes? Some weeks, it's like 
two. Radiant and other weeks it's like 14 and he can't miss, so it's kind of a mess. Wow. Bring back Old Lich, I support this, um, is, uh, although that's, that implies infinite, the infinity symbol, and then into, obviously it's meant to look like a penis, but it's the infinity it's symbol into his ult. And the thing is, remaining. it should be sacrifice at the top there, because that makes more sense, logically. Five seconds remaining. You yes, don't get infinite mana magic. from the ult. You don't get infinite no, mana from don't. the ult. You don't. I think they're talking about perhaps infinite bounces is what they're going for. That is with that the is the speed possible. swooshes, possible. which is the shaft of the penis. Mm. Good use of the term Thank shaft. You. Thank you. <laughs> and the the glands would of course be the uh, the symbol for uh, for the lich ult. Now where is urine made? Now that is my question. Are they urine? In Are the, they made in, this in the testicle? No, yeah. urine is not made in the testicles in this symbol. Okay, right? that's great. That's good to know. There's an off-screen kidney and bladder. So don't friend. worry, they've got it covered. In the shaft. There's a lot, a lot of lore behind this flag, I'm pretty sure. I don't know what Loda. their banner is meant to be, by the way. The banner is like a red splodge with the infinity symbol over the lich ult, so... I think that's maybe the fear, or maybe sacrifice the old symbol or something like that. I didn't think sacrifice symbol was red. I don't think it was red either. It was kind of a scream, like a screaming face, though, wasn't it? Right? I don't. Yeah, it was. Yeah, I think it was like a skull. Let's look up Lich on the Dota 2 wiki. I'd rather not know what's uh, going on in their brains, quite honestly. <laughs> I, I, I let these things lie. You stare too much in that abyss, it might come back to you. Race this is impressive. Some up. of the some of the worst carries in Dota 2 matching up. Yeah, this is truly going to be a fight of mediocrity. However, I understand the thought process. They ult with Luna, they ult with Witch Doctor, they ult with Dawn, and then Wraith King respawns. What do they do now? What do they do now? I guess Five they just kill him again, but we shall see. Here we go. Another Dying ban. Back. Necrophos Necro. ban. So they are worried about the sort of big lads, fat lads rolling lads, up together. I've got news for you. That is the like old that. sacrifice symbol. It's been so oh. long. It's been so long. It's Lich's face with red fucking shooting out of it, just like that. So Ten they are correct. That is really the old sacrifice symbol. Um, it, it was that, and they've now stuck. I, I mean, I still don't fucking know what they're going for here. Too cool for Dota as well is uh, also a vaguely phallic symbol there with... I don't know what it is that they're trying to do here. Wraith King. Ten seconds remaining. That's great. Wraith King. <laughs> Five seconds remaining. That's Wraith what I have King. to say. Wraith King. So both teams going for their mid lane or last, presumably. Pudge will be pos three with hopefully being piloted by Dave Yognot. Uh That means probably Zoe Rubik pos five. And I don't know who's a Techies player. Um, Do you, Plague, were you in that game the other day when the the Wraith King, the offlane Wraith King, I think it was, got his eggs and we just. No, I watched you guys play against. I played against an offlane Wraith King like 10 minutes before your guys' game started, and then you played against one as well. Um, for some reason, Wraith, Wraith King uh, offlane was just super hot that day. It we... was horrific. He, once he got the eggs, we were just never killing anybody ever. Like, it was fucking brutal. Ten seconds remaining. We could be seeing that here again today. As our last Five pick is on remaining. the way, what could it be with uh, Dawnbreaker <laughs> acting as the front liner here in do, a very you know squishy what? lineup? My favorite thing, Jake, is that I can tell What's you're it? losing the will to live. I absolutely am miserable right now. And there it is! Top coming out! Incredible! Like you, 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 so this is every week. Now, what normally happens is, by game three, we've given up talking about the game at all. And we just talk about what we've done this week, and <laughs> sport and current events, and just chat. So don't feel that you have to focus on the game much at all. Uh, don't talk about item builds if you don't want to. It's literally, we're just hanging out in a Discord call, and some people happen to be playing Dota. But this week, because we have Dave and KBJ, in my opinion, that's about as good as the Game 3 gets. Agreed. Agreed. These you guys seem like real baby. winners. You haven't seen no, him I yet. Haven't. You wait. This has been a good week so far, especially compared to last week, which was 
And I'll miss getting exhausted, but Lost these first, the first two games this week have been fucking they good. They have been fun fucking in-houses, believe it or not. This is a good week. So we have had some weeks where all three games are ridiculous, really good comebacks, some actual good plays, and shit like that. This week, we sort of had Goonery leading to a, a an L. Um, so, I, I, But I, both were definitely very watchable in fun games compared to some weeks. We've had some weeks where it's just stomp, stomp, awful game. Uh, so luckily we've had two good games this could be an interesting one and we've got a lot to watch number one we have kbj witch doctor which is always worth watching number two mm. we have possibly and in my opinion dave pudge which is an absolute 100 percent must see it really yes. is something how many hooks will dave land should get a bet going in chat I can't wait to find out. We're really going down with the numbers Whoa. here, and it's a Mars. It's Mars. Really, both. So it's yeah. the the Dark Magoo Mars against the Tundra Nine Tusk. Why would wow. you? I don't understand that. I mean, Tusk could, if he gets a blink and he's any good, could blink snowball and save everyone from the Marzol if he's really, really good. He's probably not. It's Kieran who was talking shit when I suggested that we should get NPR and KBJ. Uh, sorry, KBJ and uh, and David. So Kieran's on my shit list. I'm going to be watching you very closely. You fuck up once, you get LVP. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, would you uh, would you blame the guy if you were threatened to have to play with KBJ? Wouldn't you not do a little yeah, bit? Yeah, he's the one that's had this monstrosity imposed upon him. Yeah, but he also <laughs> gets to play against Dave. Like that's the way it goes. He's the victim here, I would say. The task. So, uh, here comes the important moment. It is Dave on the pudge. At 10 minutes, how many hooks will he have hit? How many do you think? If you want, we can wait until he's tried to throw a hook and you can gauge his skill from that. And that might inform you. So if you want, we'll wait until Dave's first hook slacks before you have to put your bet in. I reckon he's feeling it this week. I reckon last time we saw it, it was like one in ten minutes. Yeah. But this time, he's. I reckon he's feeling himself. He's, he's ready to go. It. He was called back at the he's last gonna minute. He's going to be a s seven hooks in ten minutes. I'm going to go for two. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go for zero. <laughs> okay. okay. Zero. Hold oh, the risky bet. Wow, the, the period flag sticker there. That is hype. That is hype. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, gentlemen. Are you ready for game three? Yeah. The two uh, MVPs of the Pyrian Flex Discord and stream and most likely Microsoft Paint. Prepare Welcome. <laughs> Welcome, friends, to our third series of the day. Best of one here. Very excited to see these incredible drafts. Not one hero that appears to be in the meta. <laughs> uh, <laughs> very exciting to see. I, I cannot remember the last time that I did see a hoodwink in a competitive match but here we are today let's go gentlemen ready yourselves for a wonderful game well dyra they're thinking of making some aggressive moves they're they're posing up in the bot lane they're gonna go for the old plague first blood wondering here. wondering if they can go in for the plague first blood yeah they're just gonna defend this one rune as five and potentially just get one rune. But if someone walks for it and the hook hits, that's that's the first blood secured. I, I would put my money that Hugh will go for it. To Mindlessly. Wordlessly. Just go down I think they just leave it there as bait for as long as they have to. Oh, no, they all look. They're going for the wraparound. <laughs> oh. A quick search of the stream mini-map, and they are in for the oh, wraparound. Oh, KBJ's straight into the plague first blood zone. Zoe okay. has to level the stun. He's got the Coco. He is choosing not to use it. He is saving mana, which they is smart. Zoe. They gave it Zoe. Look, Hugh's looking for it. Dave? Here comes it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. There you go, buddy. That's what you're up that against. That is incredible. There is a actual timer showing when the rune spawns. That is... <laughs> I am in for a treat here today. Unbelievable. That is a negative one. Yep, oh, minus, minus one. You're gonna call it interesting. We don't. Yep. We normally just don't count them, but uh... no, I'll be counting that one. That is uh, <laughs> one of the worst things I've ever seen. As if we minus continue. one. It's minus one hooks. Hooks. In the old days, this was about hooking people into into bombs. Now it's about I don't know what range to about with the, the the double slows really. The yeah. the techies bomb slowing you down with the rot on top. It will. That is true. 
if you know, if you get on top of a Luna, she's not happy with that. But at the same time, Witch Doctor is a very good peel for something like that, right? I, I Chucking don't, out I don't the, like the Bongo. Term, it's a I know it's a very, it's. I think it's a very Overwatch term, isn't it? Peeling. That's where I heard it anyway. A peel. Peel. Kyle yeah. uses it a lot, and I still, Does I, it? I still don't really know what it means. Yeah. Yeah. Does it mean peeling one guy off the pack? So it means peeling go? them off the person they're trying to focus down. Um, so they can't, uh, like, complete the kill. Yeah, whatever. Nah. Oh, you! You in kill trouble! The hook oh, That's nailed one! That is, that's zero. <laughs> Sorry, that's zero. That's zero. That's zero, that's zero in, in uh... Oh, it is a Tusk versus a Mars, which is quite a fun matchup. I like this. Two beefy lads slapping each other. So right now, almost doubling up the CS of the Mars on the task. 9 and 0 versus what was 5 and 0. Doing well. And he's got potentially four more to get here. Oh, he can pin him to his own ice shards. That's quite cool. That's quite cool, yeah. Mars has more than enough to buy a bottle and just hasn't bothered. Uh, Saving up which for is uh, no time. Wraith back to me. No time, dude. He's got to look it up. He has to look up bottle in the shop. It's Why is tough. he taking it's his tough. bulwark? Oh no. How many of these will he get? One? Right. Still one. Top lane. Two. No. What? Two. From a wave of <laughs> six creeps. Oh no. Three. From that. There we oh, go. No. Come on. No. Come on. Got the money, creep. Job done. Who cares? That's all that matters. That I cannot explain the tension I feel. Some uh, Bob, when he supports me, he like says, "Are you better get the money, creep?" And my like heart rate spikes. I can't fucking deal with that much stress. You better do it, bro. I'll use whatever spells I have. <laughs> I'll Laguna Blade that shit. <laughs> right, this witch doctor is pretty good. Dude. He, he's like pulling creeps and stuff. I don't know what you're talking about. This guy's good. He has gone for the traditional six tangos, six mangos build, which yeah. is good to see. Good to see him sticking with what he knows best. The the thing is, he will pull, but it's like there's no harass coming out of of KBJ, and there's no. I mean, he won't even throw a right click. You know what I mean? He's just so. Uh, I mean, he could Denied. definitely kill Pudge whatever he feels like, and he is choosing that. At the same That's time, though, you know you're playing against Dave Yorgadot Pudge, which isn't a threat. No one's terrified of Dave appearing from the trees. You can take your time and enjoy it in this lane. I mean, there's a Coco kill right there. Boom. Yeah, Coconut, yeah. Man, like Maledict, just clickety click. And if he rots, he dies. Oh, he misses the, miss is the money creep. Right there, dead. Right now, dead. Oh, he's Maledict. One click and back. Huh. Huh, Wait indeed. Until after the Lucent Beam stun. It's, uh, that is interesting. That is interesting. Anyway, uh, mid lane looks absolutely detestable. Uh, Tusk is owning these runes, somehow, against Mars. It does have a, a lot of ways both. to prevent this from happening. Has a level uh, two. He could just gonna spear be a him here. It. Oh, he, he still forgets gets to grab it. it. Wait, did he, he get that? get to grab it. I mean, he definitely could have just pressed the button and grabbed the rune. I don't believe he clicked on it, so... Uh... Wait, he hasn't got tag team. I think if he had one level in tag team, if he snowballs on the Mars there, I think he kills him. The thing sure. is, like, the tag team seems okay, but it, it's really only good when there's other heroes with you, right? Mm. So yeah, when so you're looking at the actual bag. damage numbers, the snowball and Q is better for mid lane. But oh, it, sometimes God. you're like, man, I wish I just had one value point. One so point I, I do understand it. Because it slows as well, you know? 75% yeah. slow. Not enough mana down in the bottom lane. Two He's thrown out a hook and missed another one. Yeah, another missed hook bottom. Uh, still still on zero, I believe. Net yeah, zero. Net zero. Net zero. <laughs> Top lane. <laughs> Things are going very easy for uh, Mr. Wraith King, I believe. Just kind of chillaxing here. The Dawnbreakers have a great lane as well. Uh, much more right clicks from the Dawnbreaker. That was another much missed hook, I believe. It was indeed. Still sticking to net zero. I went for two. Even if we're not going for net zero, even if we're so far on one. Now, we said seven minutes, yeah? No, we ten said minutes. ten. Ten minutes. Ten. Ah, I'm still confident in zero. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Plague's watching closely, don't worry. 
Thank you so much. Hey, you know, mid lane is absolutely dumpster city for your boy Tusk. Now level six. However, Mars is level six as well. Potentially could do a lot of damage with a little arena combo, but choosing not to because it is Tusk and Snowball. There is a double damage top, however. Oh, Tusk goes in. Nice spear back. Potentially making that here a defensive arena would be good. No need. But uh, choosing not to. No. That's no need. Oh, they're going to get Rubik. They get Rubik. Wow. Incredible stuff there up at the top Hammer lane. Time. How is our hook count? Has he thrown a hook? Yet? He has thrown another one and missed another one. Still Fantastic. looking well for the low bets tonight. Fantastic stuff. He's going to land one. No. This could be the moment. He's on top of him. Oh, oh he misses it. Go. There we go, big boy. <laughs> That's what we're after. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So the bets, right? the bets Ashwin were... Um, the Dave would not land. Well, like how many hooks? Plague Already. went for six, I think. Yeah, seven, I think. Seven. I was, I I went was for generous two. tonight. Wow. And uh, and uh, Mr. Slacks went for zero. And oh shit! Oh, no. Fred not. Fred not. And guys. um, <laughs> because we'll get him on the next one. Get him because the next one. Dave's first take hook on the rune was so bad. Um, he actually awarded him a minus one. So I think even if we get to two, both both Jake and I will both win the uh, the Dave off. Yes. Truly, are any of us winners in this situation? I don't think. <laughs> uh, I reckon he's got two chances more because he's he's oh he's got two more mangoes. Okay, he's got a bit more mana coming in. There's gonna be some nah, good some hooks Watch thrown. out, Luna. Wow. Okay, that I don't understand why he did not try to hook. Whatever. What do I care? <laughs> Okay, hold on, here we go! Oh, oh, oh shit, that's two, it. baby, let's go! Fuck, fuck! <laughs> I technically won, though, technically won net. I could still win with a rounding error if we follow the DPC format set in by Val. <laughs> you know? If it's good enough for TI, it's good enough for me on the exactly. day Exactly. Okay? He's got the two more mangoes in, pops both of them. He's raring to go. Come on, baby. Do it, Dave. Do it. Fuck One minute, 40 it. seconds remain. Miss it all, Dave. <laughs> Come on, baby. This is the most hype the in-house has got. <laughs> yeah, for real, dude. This is what we do in Oh game my god, what are you doing, Luna? Get away from <laughs> That's him. what I say, he doesn't fear, Dave. No one against a competent punch would ever stand that close in a million years, but there's no fright there. He's just a fat, lost man <laughs> wandering around the lane. <laughs> Where is- oh, there's Tusk. Melee distance of a punch in the laning phase! He doesn't even turn on a rock! He doesn't even pretend to care! Rubik died? Oh, Gigas, yes. Rubik died to Dawn again? Again? I think every time Rubik- I don't know, I think he just jumped him. I, I mean, Rubik has lift. I think- I think a lot of the time, the, when a spell is cast on the lads, what you have to understand, young Jake, is that yeah. their first instinct is to run away. As if just walking away from them will somehow mean they give up. If you have an escape, fine. But quite often you'll see people just just give it the old walk away. And I think Rubik in that situation got jumped by the dawn and thought, I know. I will walk away slowly. Oh, Arctic here we go. Shit. 30 seconds remain. He has to do it now. You gotta, land it, Dave. you gotta land it, Dave. You gotta land it, Dave. You gotta land it, Dave. He gets past the creeps. He hits oh. the creep anyway. Oh. Why'd she turn around? She turned around to die. He does perish. That's my boy, Dave. Thank you, okay. Odie Pixel, for the 1100 person raid. Welcome to game three of the in houses. You have joined us on a perilous moment. Dave just missed a hook. And we're <laughs> up to 10 minutes. So he did get two, right? Am I correct? You well, did get two, one. but technically one, with how poor the first one was. Technically one. On a technical okay. one. On I'll, a I'll double or nothing. I'll double or nothing here, Uh, What do you say he gets one more hook? Before the 13 minute mark. Oh, I'm down, baby. Let's go. Okay, that's pretty generous. All right, 12 minute mark. 12 minute mark. Minute and a half. Wait, so, one wait, wait, wait. Am I meant to say he's getting one? He's getting one. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll minutes, back no. my boy Dave. I reckon he can land one more hook in, in one and a half. Oh, let's say 12 and a half. That's two, that's two minutes half, from there. Half. Two minutes. Two minutes. All right. He can land Double a hook. He's on the hunt. He's sensing Double there's someone to kill. Dave. Come on, 
baby. Here we Come go. On, he's, he's got his ulti. He's got to be thinking about kills now. Oh, he's thinking. Come on, Techies is nearby too. Oh, no. Okay, Come ignoring on, the slow. One and a half minute and 30 seconds remaining. Exactly Let's go, baby. You just stay, stay where you're at, Dave. Look at those farm. <laughs> Look at the farm, Dave. <laughs> Don't go worry on, about what on, he's doing. You can allow on, one baby. fucking hook. One fucking hook, Dave. Go on, baby. Go on, Davey, boy. It's too risky. And it's right close. He's, he's going, going for it. Oh, he's going for it. Oh, no, he's, he's not going away. for it. He's not going for it. There's the bomb go. There's the malinate. No. No, Dave. Yeah. Draw a hook, Dave, while well, you can. No. <laughs> oh, God. That's good, Dave. Oh, Big fight top one as well. One minute. One minute remaining. He's up in 20 seconds. Come on, Dave. MPR dies. Hoodwink ulti. Wazazu! Oof! Tower is under attack. My favorite. Poor Dave. So close. He's up. He's, he's gonna TP this. straight to a lane and hook somebody. Garen fucking no, no. He's, gonna go. TP he's gonna land in and he's go He's gonna go farm for the jungle. He's gonna farm the jungle. No, Come Dave. on, Dave. No, Dave. He's walking. No, no Dave. Oh, here we go. He's in. Here we go. Alright, 30 seconds. Revenge, Dave. Got a face boot in, Dave. Revenge, Dave. There they are, David. Look, they see a witch. David. 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 Yes! Let's fucking go, Dave. Let's fucking go. MVP, baby. Let's roll. Ah, you know your community. You know your community. What can I say? Well done, Perry Flash. You win. You win. Oh, I don't doubt well, Amazingly, there's two other lanes occurring. What's happening oh, in the rest of them? fuck them. Who cares? Who cares? <laughs> so Tusk, pretty close to the Deso already. Only one component remaining. He's going to kill a Techies here for a bit of extra moolah. Uh... Oh, terrified of this Techies. Anything could happen with ah! Wow, Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Boots away! Wild! Oh, no, no, David! Oh, KBJ's own. Oh, what, <laughs> what an absolute shame for poor Dave that 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 creep camp just happened to be there. Very sad. Very sad stuff. I mean, you uh, wouldn't Rick expect there to be a creep camp with. there. You know, you it's really a, wouldn't. It's only there uh, yeah. occasionally, obviously. Hugh, very low. A suicide here will do it. Shaq, you can see them. You've, you've got two levels in blast off. There's three to damage. If, I wish he'd max this. I don't play this fucking hero, though. No, I think Sticky Bomb yeah. is a, sadly the spell. It's just. I'm just saying the it's cool 500 damage. Six second cooldown for 360 damage is, is not too bad. No. Uh, Kieran's on the hunt. He knows there's a Wraith King here somewhere and he's going for the kills, but. Oh, it's gonna Sticky, be 1v3 Sticky Bomb here. is the one that sticks to them, isn't it? Sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I still haven't played this new tech. Uh, wow, this is a nice big Dawnbreaker ulti. Oh shit. Incredible Dawnbreaker ulti there. Turning that around and making a huge kill. Zoe still has ult. Radiant. Has to back it up. Yeah. Just 360 out of there, my boys. Luna, free farming here. Very nice. Uh, how good is Techies guy? How good is this guy? Shaq is not one of the strongest players in the in-house. I think he's uh, very middling. Middling? Uh, Middling, I'd say. Middling. Middling. Okay. Middling. Bet, a bit middler well. of a player. These fucking skeletons just don't quit. That's my favorite thing about them. They do well, not the... give up. Even beyond death. I don't know, it's a, it's such a weird thing that they respawn. <laughs> it is weird because it's like, either make them tougher, but then the thing is, you got to kill them twice. It's just a massive Radiant's waste of time, and it's kind of... I guess if you made them... Oh, I don't know, I can't come up with a reason. I, I'm, just, I'm struggling. It's just something that happens, you know? He reincarnates, his skeletons re reincarnate. There you go, there's the lore. I think we will be getting, for the first time this evening, no Wraith Packs on either side. Oh. Because Dave... Pudge is not going to build it, right? Pudge is all about trying to do cool things. Nice Wraithback is not cool, Alistair. it's just effective. Just on another side, you've got a Dawnbreaker. Needs. Who has a Vlad's? Wait, hold on a second. The Vlad's okay. is already there. Okay, dude. Oh, no, Blade into fucking... What is this? Oh, shit, they got the mask. <clears throat> Falcon Blade into Wraithback? All right, NPR, calm down, mate. Lizard's not watching this week. Ready to show off with your, with your doing good things. Come on. An electrified river uh, for this electric game. 
and which is absolutely <laughs> <wild>. just missing <laughs> every spell. Oh, <laughs> no! <laughs> it hurts! Welcome, Jake. Welcome. Welcome. It's great to have you here oh. this week for this magic. Why would you pick heroes that are all skill shot based? I don't understand. <laughs> Why though? You don't have to do this to yourself, boys. You can pick hero. You click on the hero, your thing will happen. Why? You're Whatever. right. They've got a lot of decisions to make. It's uh, both teams have. You have to land a spell at the right time. Oh, Dave. Oh, Dave. I, it didn't frustrate me when I see the goons, despite having a hero with 126 damage at this point, still struggling to last hit. Just hit the creeps. <laughs> so Dave is. So here's this past three, Dave. Right. He's, he's no, just about going to gonna get a couple Some of items. He's just never going to land a hook. He's just going to be a massive waste of space. He's going to spend a lot of time waiting in the trees, looking to land a hook, with it, and then achieve nothing. That's my bet for how Dave will play this hero. That's well, just he's got the Vanguard. <laughs> he's he's at least got some health. You know, it'll take him a little while to die. That's that's at least something. Luna just need armor. Straight up the ags there. The ags for Dave. Incredible. They have? Should he ever get an AoE of Rot? I will be surprised. <laughs> well, he's got to cast it. That's the biggest problem. I don't think he's That will be rough as well. He was relaxed about casting it in lane. The Luna was... She's not a like, high range hero. You know, It's mm. not hard to get on top of Luna. But just wasn't that interested. He was relaxed. Relaxed about his laning. Techie's like dead. So, I, I played with Rorts the other day, Plague, and he, yep. he just killed the Techies every time he saw him. Might have even been Was it on Tusk thing. as well? Yeah, no, he just Tusk punched yeah. the Techies and Techies just dies. I mean, it's just the nature of the hero. So they do have Blink on Mars, so oh, something needs to a... happen with this with this guy. They got Blink uh, Mars, okay. All right, Blink let's Mars go. is ready to go. They gotta get like a smoke on Techies or Rubik or something and go make, try and make plays. Because right now you have a Blink Mars who's just hitting Ancients occasionally, it's not great. Like, your, your mid Mars is almost as low net worth as Dave Punch. That's how bad this has gone for him. Mm. Holy Christ almighty. Oh, no. Oh, well. And actually, you know, it's approaching 20 minutes. KBJ managed to get through all of his mangoes and all of his tangos. He's ready to start playing Dota. Almost got the Glimmer Cape done. Kieran's got the Deso. He's getting the blink. Yeah, it's something to say about how bad this mid lane went. That Kieran's gonna have Deso and Blink at the same time, but Mars got Blink. Yeah. So Mars is 6k net worth, Tusk is 8 and a bit k net worth, nearly 8 and a half. Yeah. And Hugh is hitting creeps. Bless him, he's not just hitting the jungle, he's hitting creeps in lane as well, hitting those skellies, getting them bounces. Hell yeah. Got quite a few of those. This boy's getting big. Real KB, talk. KBJ. Boy, get it. KBJ almost got Glimmer, so he can do things. I I don't think you. I, I don't get Glimmer on this hero anymore when I play Witch Doctor. I just get the shard, and then I get a blink, and then that's it. That's your job done. They're gonna smoke! They're gonna do a little bit of smoke play here. They're gonna look for Hugh. Hugh is running away. Very quickly. Danger. They got will the blink on Mars. The they got the break. blink on Mars. They somehow just they missed don't. him. I think they just missed him! Nighttime vision. Oh. Actually, what that was, Luna has. More nighttime vision than most heroes in the game. Yeah. She will have seen them, they will not have seen her. Oh! Wow. The lunar blessing. Incredible. I like so, these failed smoke maneuvers when they all just walk <laughs> back to the lane together. That's my favorite. When you don't catch anybody, and then you just five man walk to lane. That's very depressing stuff. Oh, Techies is going to be able to scout out a uh, very nice initiation there. He has Today's a tank string ankle on that team. one. No, not, they get more. Not all of them. Heretic with the cliff Hi. lift didn't go for it. Oh, oh Dave, yes. No. He's contributing. <laughs> how do you how do you guys feel about the chances that Wraithkin can 1v5 this? Zero. I would say zero. It's not great. And Zoe's net worth is looking good though. It's you know, this 8 and 0 Kieran and still matching him in net worth so at least. So you lost mid horribly. Yes. Uh, you've got Kieran dominating on the tusk and eliminating one of your heroes pretty much on site. You've got a Dawnbreaker who has a Wraith back, so it doesn't do any damage. I mean, well, where is your damage coming from for, for Radiant? It's just tusk, right? Dawn doesn't need to do shit. She just Wraith backs. Tusk could die here. His team is pretty close, though. Dawnbreaker. 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 Dawnbre
Get the race back Very down. Nice. It's down there. No damage from anybody. They're all oh looking to live. God. They're all looking to live. This one's over. This one. This one's yes. not looking good. So I mean, the dawn. Atta like boy. you normally That's would up. want your dawn to build things that allow her to start fights and do damage. She doesn't need to. Nah, you need to. You got tusk. You've got tusk. Yep. That's it. And you just get maledict on someone and they perish. That's it. Wish still didn't even That's have to it? use his ult. I think questions have to be asked about this this fucking Mars pick. Has he cast Arena once yet? He tried on Tusk and Dawnbreaker kind of came in on top, but he knew that. This was a last pick mid. He knew that he would be getting Dawnbreaker in every ulti. He just is useless. Useless hero. Yep. Yep, he is building Wraith Pact. Uh, I don't know he what hero he believes he's playing, <laughs> but it is not Mars. The damage is <laughs> now coming from... Uh, Techies. Techies is the highest amount of damage for Techies. Dyer right now. Pretty much Shaq, who I... dies in every fight instantly. He's 0-4. Hugh doesn't need to do anything this game. Uh, he just needs to click buildings and use his, use his, his morbid mask, mask of mana sorry, to, uh, to hit creeps quicker and become enormous. And here goes Heretic. Yeah. <laughs> That was a nice oh, thousand. No, miss. <laughs> nice I, I, thousand crit. I do feel like um, Tusk might get a wee nerf in the next patch, in all honesty. Oh, yeah, absolutely. This hero is fucking nuts. Here we go. Nice quick game for game three. Jake, you'll be out of here in no time. I mean, there is still, there's still the high ground to come. Like it's, but actually, the carry hasn't had that amazing a game. You know, they weren't getting kills in lane, so the darkness is not on him this game. Mm. But Tusk is ready to go in. Yeah, Jake's normal call of the carry did well in lane, ergo they will lose. His random guy in trouble, and he's punched and he's dead. That's Mars. That's their mid. Yeah. That is their mid. No. The, uh, the arena's still unused. So, um, <laughs> it's incredible. Just, just holding it all together for the high ground, you know? They get to save up their greatest hits. Z Zoe, I would have taken that building. That's super Dyer's low. She's gone top Dyer. instead. Got it. Yeah, I don't see how they win this. This makes me so angry as a man who. <laughs> 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 I'm not playing Dota for months. Uh, I'm watching these guys. They don't deserve it. They don't deserve to be <laughs> Are you saying get out of my video game? Is that what you're saying? No, no, I'm saying none of none of us deserve this. Is what I'm saying. All so, of us watching, no one deserves. This. <laughs> so interesting on on the plus five Rubik, uh, you you're supposed to max the the fate bolt for obvious reasons, and then you're supposed to max arcane supremacy, just because the cast range is bonkers, mm -hmm. like genuinely broken again. Um, actually gives you more cast range per level than leveling up telekinesis further if you look at it. So this is a, a boo-boo from Heretic, mm. but, you know, it, I don't think, in the grand scheme of things, it's a small scale compared to the rest of what's happened to his team. I, mean, I guess they I, just... I'd love to, I, what, what spells has Heretic stolen to date? I did see him steal one spell. I'm trying to remember what it was. Uh, oh, it was, it was, um, it was, um, Wingnut Alt. He stole that, but I haven't seen him steal anything else. It's not, I mean, it's the problem. It's not really like an amazing Rubik game. Like they haven't got like OD or Earthshaker or something like that where, mm. I mean, we picked he OD picked recently. Second. Yeah, he, he picked a second. We've had a few games what lately kinda... where like if you have an OD and they pick Rubik, it's just game over because he just banishes everybody and it does a bajillion damage. Whoever you banish, he banishes you or he banishes them again. It's fucking miserable. Bounty. I just don't understand Ruby picks <laughs> unless they're they're later. There's a are you deny picking? What are you doing then? Who are you? I mean, if, <laughs> if you're a TI and Enigma's very strong, you first pick Rubik. I get it. It's a deny pick, but uh, you're not stealing anything, Haas. What do you? Hey, I don't want to think about it. Anymore. Yeah, don't. My I wouldn't. Hurts. I wouldn't hurt your brain too much about it, but. All right. Well, Dyer, Dyer, I've got the Aegis. They've stuck it on Luna, and she's gonna Wait, Radiant presumably Luna. walk up top lane right now. Radiant, Radiant, Luna, yes. Radiant yeah, sorry. That's my brain turning off say, as well. Holy shit. Yeah, no, we've given up at this point. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> that is a fog voice line. Oh, yeah, right there. yeah that's, that's like... a rare, a rare champ. <laughs> Alright, here we go. We could Demo! Arena! This is good, a good snipe for the Aegis, but oh, they don't my. have anything for Kieran now. Oh, they've lost and he's several. really just on them. Oh my days. Is under you got the Aegis. 
The next fight you have, that'll work perfectly. Alright, 70 seconds until the next arena. I don't think they can get much here, except for the entirety of their racks. Uh, they might get Mega Creeps, but the next arena will be really good. We shall see. KBJ, they all get again on the winning very team. Quickly. What a player. Fucking hell, look at the racks just die. All right, one more chance, Dyer. One more chance. Dyer's middle barracks has fallen. Just go straight. Oh, are they bot. leaving? Just go straight, Dyer's bot. Don't be fannies. No! No! I could be watching YouTube Try right harding. now. Try harding. Unbelievable. Why are we gonna get up tomorrow? Come on. Game. Here we go. Luna fresh BKB. Uh, racing check. No BKB. Oh. But they have arena in 15 seconds, and no Aegis this time, so if they can execute it as flawlessly as they did last time. Kieran's oh gone God, in! Heretic's dead. Oh my god! The hook misses! Unbelievable! Hook's the illusion. He goes random guy! He spears the, spears the illusion! The illusion. Luna all goes down! Oh, they might get Luna though! They might get her! She's running away! Oh, they might get Kieran! They did get, get the Kieran! Gucci's very low as well, no Aegis! The spear misses somehow on a point blank target. Here they're all dead. The wish to troll is going down. It's hitting Zoe. Zoe's getting chonked. They will be able to to flee. Oh no, unless KBJ just goes back in for the, the wild coconut. He's just going straight axe. Go buy it right now, my friend. Yep, pretty high. He has finished pretty buying it. He's going straight for the refresher orb afterwards on Witch Doctor. Why didn't he buy it from the fucking shop next to him? I don't know. <laughs> That's not his shop, bro. He yeah. doesn't trust that Good guy. point, good point. Yeah, he'd probably try and cheat him or something. Mm-hmm. That's the enemy I shopkeeper. That. We don't do that. BKB comes out for Wraith King. I mean, that is that is a lot of money for Wraith King in that fight, right? Like, he lives through everything. He's there for all three core kills. But you're down two sets of racks, and you've lost the tower. So this racks is... You might as well just write it off already, right? It's Luna. This racks is dead. You lose so like you are against one Mega hero Cruise. in the time it takes you to buy back, these buildings are gone. That's pretty much the way it goes. It's never gonna happen. Because they have Mars Blink Arena. Mm -hmm. He'll never get close. <laughs> He'll instantly he do it. Mars Blink Wraith Pact. <laughs> he has a Wraith Pact. He is ready to go. I love they canceled out how Dawnbreaker. Pudge's farm has l frozen. At this point, for some time now. This was their pos 3. They entrusted Dave with pos 3. And he's done absolutely fucking nothing in this game. Nothing! What Remarkable. They're just coming back. Is that Dave's fault? Is that Dave's fault or is that their fault? <laughs> they knew what they got. Hey, Dave, uh, you know, he's a scorpion on your back. You're crossing crossing the river. You're like the old folk tale, okay? <laughs> Dave's Dave. It's in my nature. It's in Dave's nature. It's in his nature. Dyer's bottom barracks He's not gonna somehow magically learn how to play Dota this game. That's on you. So here comes Luna. Is Mars ready to go? He is not. That's half. That? Half Brax damage just from like one manta. <laughs> Oh, 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 nice. That's, that's a little bit of clean dice, but... No. Gets the BKB off. Well, that's a dead Mars. Zoe's trying to fight. Does have two lives. Shaq goes down. Kieran's KBJ low again, though. KBJ just chilling. KBJ just chilling. KBJ, any of your spells, bud. There we go. GG. Well, yeah. That was... He has ags. Guy, he right? has That's ags, and he spent the entire fight walking left and right. I do not understand this man. I, I, I do not understand it. He can just fucking stand back, alt, glimmer, and just wait on the edge of the fucking fight. He spent the whole time walking about, and he saved it for when which when Wraith King came back. Oi, oi, oi! Dave only ever glimmers himself. Only ever glimmers himself. K sorry, KVJ. Guaranteed. This is not an item you use on teammates. I'm not sure how to feel. Well, in other uh, news, uh, Wraith Pack was not used. No, <laughs> you don't want to use it. Jeez, come on. 
No, no. Need, uh, all that money for nothing. Uh, that's real rough. It could have been a real t fight changer, honestly. I mean, uh, we got a good initiation. Just pop that Wraith back on the ground. Very Here sad. it comes. Here it comes. Ow. Stay dead. Stay. Oh, God bless. No offending Knock out. This dawn is just unmolested top. Doesn't have a BKB. Well, there is there is some some damage coming in. He does get have shots, so if he can out. ever get on silence, then Pew. That's that's a lot of money. It's, it's, uh, that's oh, good they're gonna get, get the mega creeps. Yeah, that's you are oh, losing megas for it. You know that's the trade off you make. <laughs> they're kind of you know they're closing in on Wraith King level twenty. Oh shit, he's gone in. Well, okay. <laughs> on you. <laughs> really, truly bizarre. Oh, Zoe's got a <laughs> Stunder Carty. Gets punched! It does... It doesn't look great. Heretic stolen Death Ward! Hit, look what he's gonna do with it! He's about to unleash it for the play of the game! For the Rampage! Oh no, they just call it. He steals Death Ward and they call it. And there we have it. Wow, oy, 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 incredible oy, oy. experience. One of the best I've ever seen. Very cool, very cool stuff. I, I feel so bad inviting people to these casts, because me <laughs> and Plague and Ashwin are used to it. I was like, hey Jake, you wanna cast Ines? I was like, I'm there, buddy, I'm coming. One game in, he's losing the will to live. And by game three, he's given up. It's a damn you know shame. What? It was a very fun experience. <clears throat> I always, it, it really puts into perspective a lot of things in my life. Uh, <laughs> life is limited, guys. You know, every day is a gift. And uh, may I never spend it ever watching anything like that again. So that is, <laughs> every day is a beautiful gift, guys. Yeah, please use it to your fullest. Just not today. That's what he's saying. Not today. Well, no, no. chaps, thank you so much for casting this week. Uh, I will see Plague next week. I probably won't see Jake next week. Or... Maybe for a year, or possibly more, before he decides to come no. back. Never? Never. I no, will... I'll be back next okay. week. I'll be back next week. <laughs> I, this is great. <laughs> this is good Dota therapy for me. Uh, thank you so much, Period Flex, for this incredible opportunity. Well, this is you, one dude. that I will not no, I, forget. I appreciate you turning up. Thank you, dude. I really... Uh, this was, was awesome actually a lot of fun. No cap! Lot no of cap. Fun for God. real, for real, on God. This was a lot of fun. All right, lads, I will see you guys next week. Cheers, boys. GG. Cheers. And uh, to all of you who took part this evening, uh, thank you so much for entertaining us with this cavalcade of wonderful Dota. Uh, thank you to Eri for organizing it. Thank you to Owen uh, OD Pixel Davies for the uh, for the host. And uh, I will see you guys for the raid. I should say I will see you guys tomorrow. Cheers for actually I won't see you tomorrow. I will see you Thursday evening. Cheers for watching. Take it easy. Peace out. <laughs>